Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. Wait, is my microphone on? Hold on. Always with the audio paranoia, but I think we're good. <laughs> Ooh. Hold on, I gotta stretch. It's been a day. Oh my gosh. I wish I could tell you guys. I can't really talk too much about it because I don't want to dox myself, but it's been it's been a day. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long, like, week, realistically, but... I'm so happy to be here, and I can't wait to continue more with the randomizer tonight. How are y'all doing? Microphone is on. We love to see it. Andrew Freeman, thank you for being a member for a whole year. Happy anniversary. Member since day one. Happy one year. Thank you so much for uh, for the support and the generosity. I greatly appreciate it. New profile picture, by the way. Can we get some? Can we get some Argon love for Andrew Freeman? Full twelve month membership. I almost said twelve year membership. That would have been even more impressive. But <laughs> it's been a day for you too, Nico. Hope everything's turning out okay. And we're just gonna have some nice chill vibes tonight. We got, to, I mean, hopefully chill vibes. We'll see. Honestly, the minds can get a little bit stressful from time to time now that we're getting into the deeper portions of it. But uh, <laughs> I am, uh, I'm excited to continue on. Hello, Karita, Koji, Benny, Slinky. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Yeah, it's been a hot minute, Karita. It's been it's been a minute. I hope you're doing well. No worries, Andrew. Appreciate you dropping in. Everybody have a good weekend. What was the highlight of the weekend for everybody? It's uh, well, yeah, it was the yeah. Today's Monday. I'm sorry. I'm so out of it right now. <laughs> Anyone have any grand activities that they would like to share that they are they they had a good time with? I didn't personally. I mean, I don't have any anecdotes for you. I don't have any information. Honestly, seeing that moose at, at, during the last stream was the highlight of my week. <laughs> to an extent, anyway. Wooly Socks, thank you for being a member for two months at the Neutron level. Greatly appreciate the support and the generosity. Thank you, thank you. Super happy to be able to join the stream live. I'm happy to have you here live. Snuggle on up. Get yourself a snack and a drink and enjoy the, the vibes, hopefully. No more moose sightings, I'm afraid. No more moose sightings. I mean, it's probably for the best. I mean, they, you don't want them <laughs> wandering around the residential neighborhoods too much. Played entirely too much Stardew over the weekend. Is there such a thing? Playing Stardew. Binged Amphibia and did nothing else. Shippo. Top 10 out of 10 show. Can't even blame you for it. It's, it's a great show. Went to the zoo. Did you see any moose while there? You probably saw some more exciting animals, even. Not that moose aren't exciting, but... I, I, I'm telling you, it would have been a very different story if I looked at my sh window that stream and saw, like, two elephants. <laughs> you had 53 frogs in your friend's house while she was away, and she came home this weekend. Wow. Okay. <laughs> there is a story there. I just got the cliff notes, and I'm not quite sure what to make of it. Got more geckos. Ooh. Lots of amphibian and reptile-related activities today. One iron ore out of a rock. Never seen Argon more stressed. <laughs> it's true, honestly. Also, before we get too far into it here, the little exclamation point goal will pin our goal today if Nightbot is uh, is friendly. There we go. Pin me. Still sitting at a clean 0 out of 565 goals, which actually reminds me, by the way, there's a second version of the uh, randomizer tool that I just put out over the weekend. Uh, it was it was a pretty easy thing to put together. It just required a few minor changes to the code, but it's basically a version for people who are sane, <laughs> for lack of a better term, who don't want to commit like hundreds, possible hundreds of hours to like grinding the way that I might have to for some of these goals, and um, just want a more casual, standardized experience, a more well-rounded experience, I would say but still want to experience the randomizer in their own right. So you can find the information for that in the, uh, I think it's exclamation point FAQ, or there's a link to the rules and guidelines description in the description below. Again, one of the funnest things about the whole randomizer has been seeing everyone else's experiences with it. There have been some, some interesting goals and some interesting, uh, 
interesting methods of getting those goals for sure. It's, it's been a lot of fun just seeing everyone's personalized experience. I feel like I'm the, like, honestly, hilarious as it might sound, I think I, I've seen, like, a, quite a few different people start their own randomizers or tell me about their own randomizers. And I'm, I feel like I am the farthest behind out of anybody, despite having started mine first. <laughs> I feel like everyone else has completed, like, at least one goal that I've seen. And I'm still stuck on my zeroth goal. My first goal, really. But that's okay. That's okay. It's by design, really. I just didn't realize how long the dwarf goal was going to be, but... Honestly, it's good to be able to, like, unlock all this stuff for future goals eventually, so... Hey, Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker. Looking like a diamond in the rough. Thank you, thank you. Goat, you're still shipping a rhubarb? That I mean, that's a tough one, too, because you got to get to the desert for that, so... You're in the similar boat to me right now, where getting to the desert is, is half the battle. Either way, let's go ahead and get into it here. I'm amped up enough now. It's been it's been a little bit. I didn't do any geode farming over the over the weekend or anything like that, so we're still at the same amount of uh, of money as last stream, because like we we left last stream off on a bit of a cliffhanger. We um we were going for floor sixty, right? We were going for, from fifty five to sixty, and we had hit five resets, and then I had to end the stream because life happened, <laughs> scheduling and responsibilities and ugh, all that. Geode farming for Krobus started off. Yeah, so I didn't do any geode farming because I didn't want to mess with anything here. I'm pretty sure going, like, a couple days in the future doesn't actually change anything as far as, like, staircases go. But it would change my daily luck. And I already know that I've got a good luck day going today, so I might as well keep going with that, right? Plus, I don't need any money... I don't need any more money, I should say, in the near future. I do actually need 3000 for the Luau because I need to buy the, the star fruit that, that gets sold there. But other than that, there's nothing super imminent. I will want to buy the fall fruit trees eventually, so that's going to be something I need to get some more money for. What did I end up eating for lunch before heading to work? Uh, it was just like a sandwich. It was like a, uh, a Swiss cheese and... Uh, what was the other part? Like Swiss cheese and roast beef sandwich, I think. I just had some cheese and I had some meat and I'm like, you know, we'll we'll cobble it together. I think I also had a chocolate pudding on the side. Hit the spot. Nice well-rounded meal. Happy birthday, Marole. Or Marole. I I'm never sure how to say your name and I apologize. You've probably already told me before. Marole, Marole. Either way, you can get some birthday cake emojis for uh for you today. Happy birthday. Happy to be a part of it. All right, let me let's let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? We're back in the reset train. I'm gonna go ahead and start up a new poll. So since we left off in media res last time, we're gonna go. How many more resets will it take for floor sixty? We're currently sitting at five resets. Will it take? Zero more. Are we going to get it right away here? That, that'd that be a great start to the stream. I'm not going to lie to you. And it's it's more likely than like a pure zero reset, which we, we still did get last time. Um, But we actually have some information to work with this time. All right. How many more resets will it take for floor 60? Let's go. Believers in chat, exclamation point optimism. I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, and I think Beatrix is feeling good too. Look at her. You can tell, but look at how happy she is. Look at the look on her face. There's a certain brightness in her eyes. You might be you might not be able to tell, but I know her. She just blinked. I think that's confirmation. Spiral floor is a killer. Yeah, 459 is a spiral floor, which makes it uh makes it a bit of a, a bit of a hassle for sure, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Alright. Quickly say hello to Craig for good luck. It's been it's been a minute. Hello, Craig. Hope you're doing well. And we're off. And just just to confirm, just to confirm, we are doing this on a good luck day. It's a gold pyramid kind of day. That's what we want to see. Pet the cat for good luck. Good afternoon, pie. Or I guess good morning to you. But love for clothing combo. The hat is is a very nice uh, accentuation of her clothing, and the, the clothing itself was actually, like, it was randomly chosen. 
at the start of the randomizer, like, I, I made her again, but she, her original Inception was off-camera, off-stream, much like Chloe. And it was a, uh, it was a randomized process. So we just got lucky. I really, I, I also like this, uh, this color scheme. That shade of yellow, is, it hits different. Banana pie pets pie. <laughs> pie has been pet 50 times? People love pie. Oh my gosh. I also love pie. Let me get in on this, honestly. Exclamation point pie. We're going in. Yo, dog dog cat, thank you for being a member for a whole year. A full year as well at the Electron level. Can you get some Argon love for dog dog cat? That is a long time to support. I greatly appreciate the generosity. Thank you. All right. 62% of people think it's going to take at least one more reset, one to five resets. We're going to go ahead and see see if that holds true here. All right, so floor 55, we learned this last time. This floor can't really have freebies. At least I'm pretty sure that it can't have freebies. So we basically just got to got to do the darn thing. Here we got to compare. How many maps do we have? We have one map of floor 55. What the heck was I doing, dude? Maybe I was just getting lucky on floor 55 every single time. Hey, Allie. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Yo, we got... Oh my gosh, we got so much... What the heck? <laughs> the Rubescapades, thank you for the 12 months as well. A full year of support. Year squad. Argon hype. Get, get Argon love for all the, all the year squad. Thank you so much for the generosity and support for a whole year at this point. I really, really appreciate it. And Museum Grack Reeves for the two months of support as well at the Electron level. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. I use the word greatly too much, but th things are great. What can I say? You guys are great. One of us. Have I seen the 1.6 confirmation? I did actually, yeah. For those not in the know, not in the loop, um, Concerned Ape tweeted that he's taking a break from working on Haunted Chocolatier to focus on the Stardew Valley 1.6 update which is mostly a modding-focused update, but we'll also have some additional content from what he said. I don't know what that content is, and I'm partially scared, mostly excited, because I don't know what it could mean for the future of challenge runs, but uh, <laughs> we'll see, I guess. There's really no way to predict that, so I, I am very excited about that. Either way, let me bring you into the lab here. Bring you into the lab. So this is our current floor layout. For those who haven't been through, through this with us before, let me lay it out for you. This is where we currently are. And this is a previous incarnation of this floor, where that was a staircase that spawned. And if we go back, we can look. There are no, there's no rock on that spot. If there was a rock on that spot, then the since the seed dictates staircase spawns, that would be a reliable spot for one. But we can also check a knight's move away in multiple directions. So we go over one, one to the right and two down. No rock there. One to the right, two down, and you can keep going like that for a little while, or you can go two up and one to the left, two up, one to the left, which also does not work. So I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, honestly reset this floor, because I remember that one being a very consistent staircase during last stream. Like, that that's the reason I only have one map of floor 55 here, is because that 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 one map actually did a lot, like, a lot of heavy lifting, I'm pretty sure. So let me go ahead and do that. Shouldn't take too many resets to get our first one. Welcome in, Bex. Did we get any more any more year squad? We did not get any more year squad. Special sword. You guys got the dwarf sword now. I think two year it's gonna be two years for another sword upgrade, which is the uh the dragon tooth cutlass, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Do we have a match here? Do 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 No, it doesn't look like a match. Okay, well maybe I don't know, maybe we might have to go for some extra we might have to do some extra mapping of floor 55. We'll see. I'm still going to give it a few more resets here. Hold on. Just let me, like, resize my thing real quick. All right. Your sword is two days away, Koji. I'm looking forward to it. The stream is two days. This next stream is two days away. Well, more than two days away, so you'll have it just in the nick of time. If, you're, if you happen to be able to make it to that stream, of course. No pressure. <laughs> really no pressure, though. All right. Hit me with a staircase, please. We got uh, Knight's Move Luck here. Dude, 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 dude. These staircases are not kind today. 
Alright, I'm gonna give it one more reset, and if not, then we'll just try and mine for a new staircase. I mean, what's if we, we could double the amount of maps we have for floor 55, then that would be pretty choice, honestly. It's just this first map has done, like, so much work for me that it feels like some kind of grand betrayal if I try to go for another one here. This one looks a little more promising. There's a lot of rocks down there, so one of them's got to be a match, right? All right, so we go... Do, do, do. Yeah, so that very topmost rock of the little, the little L shape there should be okay. Super excited for what's happening in your life right now. I'm very excited for you then, Benny. Happy, happy. All right. Let's go ahead and avoid the dust sprites. Ho hopefully the dust sprites also... They're also a bit of a concern because they can mine rocks for us and give us experience. Which, you know, doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's it's Stardew things. It's just Stardew things. Welcome in, cat. You haven't missed too much yet. We're, we're, there was a lot of rambling at the start, and now we're just getting started. Yo, chat, we got a freebie already. We got a freebie. Let me show you. Quick little, quick little freebie pick. There you go. I'll take these quartz as well. You gotta, you gotta do play the psychological game a little bit too with these uh, mines levels. You gotta make the game think, okay, I'm not gonna reset this one even if I fail. So they'll, they'll, they'll be like, oh geez, we gotta make this one count, and uh, and hopefully everything will just fall into place. That's my plan anyway. We'll see how well it works. Floor 57's been a bit of a bother, but not that bad. It's no floor 17, I'll tell you that much. We're still sitting at a clean zero resets for this uh, for this stream, by the way. Welcome in, Natalie. Do I have a hundred plus cave picks yet? I honestly haven't counted the 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 grandness of the cave picks, like all of them, but it's probably over a hundred, I would guess. Yeah. All right. I don't see a freebie. I do see a crate. That could be our lucky hardwood for the day. Um, what do we got here, though? My eyes are, like, a little bit... I'm, I'm a little tired today, so pardon me if I'm somewhat out of it. This looks like a knight's move right here. At the, It's like a, it's like the hilt of a sword, almost, this little part right here. So it's right in that little nook. Or it's, this is kind of like the, the flux capacitor in, in Back to the Future. So at the center of the flux capacitor, we got a potential staircase there. What about that one over there? Do, do, do... That might be one right there, at the cusp of the eastern wall. Okay, so flux capacitor, eastern cusp. Um, what about down here? Wasn't this this one's cursed because we threw our our magnet ring next to it? So if we break that one, it'll have an ore inside. I'm pretty sure. But if we could get a knight's move from there. Do do do. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, flux capacitor, eastern cusp. Are is anyone writing this down? It will be on the test. All right, those are those are all our maps for floor 57. We only got three. All right, we're gonna gonna go with the flux capacitor because it's the closest one here. No luck. All right, eastern cusp it is. It has to. One of these has to work, right? There's no way that both of them fail me. I told you. I told you there was just no way. We make these maps for a reason. Is all I'm telling you. There's a test. There is a test. There's always a test. There was a test at the end of Price Perfection. If you didn't show up for it, you got a zero percent in the class. I'm so I'm sorry to tell you. I didn't publicize the test. I just expected people to like know and show up. I was a little disappointed. All right, um, bring me back over to the lab here. I do not see an iota of a freebie. A lot of dust sprites over there. We want to avoid that if possible. Zero reset, gang. We're hoping for it. All right. Ooh, we got a knight's move literally just right of center. Let's go check that one because it's like right here, so might as well. Just give it a little crack, a little look-see. That's perfect. All right, floor 59. Here we come. Chat, we need some good luck emojis. Can we get some horses, some clovers, some uh, some some deer deer emojis? How did, we, how did we end up here where all these are various degrees of luck? We're looking for a freebie. We're looking for a freebie. Wickedy's here. That's good luck in and of itself. This is the one. Welcome in, Wickedy. 
59. I'm not going to look at it. I'm just going to bring you guys in with me. All right, and we're going to look for a freebie here. I see a diamond. Oh, hopefully that... I think all our luck might have gotten pulled into that diamond chat. The game the game wants to, like, give us luck, but it doesn't understand that we can't actually mine the diamond. The, the game's got the... It's got the spirit, but it's a little bit confused. It's like a lucky... There's, like, a special slime there, a jade, and a diamond. What is this madness? <laughs> All right, well, it's okay. We got maps for this exact reason. Where is the first staircase? Right down there. Let me have a look here. Yo, we got one there. Oh, there's a lot of rocks in between us and that. It looks like we have to break at least like a couple rocks to actually get there. But it's on this, uh, it's the top of the Tetronimo. Top of the Tetronimo on the, at the four o'clock location. Okay. See if there's a closer one at least. Um, that's not closer. Do we have a closer one at all? We do have one up here, potentially. Ooh, we do have one up there, potentially. Hold on a minute. Do we have to break any rocks to actually get there? I think we can go, like, under these rocks and get there and get to that one. We're gonna go for that, and if that fails, we're gonna have to go for the Tetronimo. But I think this could be the good luck that we needed. This could be the good luck that we needed. All right, on the upper diagonal at the 2 o'clock location, maybe even the 1 o'clock location. Quickly scoot past there, right here. This one's for you guys, chat. You guys made this happen. Yo, zero reset, gang! Let's go! Not a true zero reset. That was five resets from last stream, but zero resets today. Love to see it. What is this again? We're gonna check it. A little crystal dagger. I, I don't think I'm going to keep that, to be perfectly honest with you. Not even as, like, a trophy or anything. I think that's fine. But uh, it's, it's not, it is not one of the better daggers. Could, couldn't have done it without you, chat. Let me end the poll here. Zero reset, gang. That's 17%. Can you get some 17s in chat? Seven, 17 team? Not bad. Five resets total. We've, we've done a lot worse than that. We've done, we've done better, but we've done significantly worse before, that's for sure. And look at how little energy and health we use. The game was just feeling like giving me a, a bit of a, a mulligan today, I guess. Thank you for the 17s. That, that one was for the 17th percentile. The 17th percentile. We don't need the dagger for arc. So true. We want, I want a better dagger, realistically. The crystal dagger just doesn't do it for me. I'm a dancing queen, young and mean, only 17. Is it young and mean or young and lean? I don't know. Welcome in, Zeta Rose. All right. Quick trash run to celebrate. Some people might celebrate by popping open uh, the cork on a champagne bottle. Some people might celebrate with a nice ice cream cake on a hot summer's day. Me, I celebrate by rifling through my neighbor's trash can, looking for fish. Like, whole raw fish. And also, like, maybe some some berries. Can anyone else relate to this feeling? Ooh, a little field snack as well. You know what? That's some money. Get some trash treats. You know it to be true. Sam, nobody cares. I don't even know who you are. Thought it was young and sweet. It might be young and sweet. I don't. I don't have the the Mamma Mia songs. They they don't they don't take up space in my brain most of the time. All right. Quick little selling session. Field snack. Joja Cola and quartz get sold. Dude, I told you, I'm telling you, the quartz strategy where you, like, pick up the quartz because you're like, this is going to be the run. We got to, you know, might as well get the quartz while I'm down here. There's some, there's some, there's some truth to it. There's a nugget of wisdom there. Done a bit of dumpster diving in your day? Not just in Stardew. <laughs> you live a very, very eclectic life, Wickedy. All of me intrigued. Welcome in, purple. All right. Um, I think, like, we could go try to do some hardwood farming, but let's not test our luck here. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day on that one. Start of a new week incoming. It's definitely young and sweet. 
Fair enough. I always, for some reason, it sticks in my brain as like young and something that rhymes with lean. But it, sweet doesn't, sweet kind of rhymes with like lean, but. <laughs> it's a rainy day. It's a thundery day. Oh, wait. Oh, this, this could actually be good. I think the lightning can knock down trees and not give us experience when it does so. So that could free up a little bit of real estate. Neutral luck is not good enough, I'm sorry to tell you. Oh, I forgot to check check my mushroom cave yesterday. That is one thing I forgot to do, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, lightning can take out trees. It can't take out stumps, though, I'm pretty sure. So, unfortunately, the tile is still taken up, but the, uh, the, the amount of screen real estate that the tree takes is significantly reduced if we get some light, some lucky lightning strikes here. It's not debris day. I should get... I can't, can't get too far ahead of myself here. Hold on. ABBA is great. I am very uncultured. I don't know, like, much of anything about most bands, including ABBA. But I know they're one of the classics. I know people people love them. And I have to assume it's for good reason. I mean, that song, like, uh, is it called 17? I don't even know. It's it's a banger. I'll admit it. It's a certified banger. I mean, it's no pickle jar rag, but few things are, really. Chat, if you're making a tier list of Stardew Valley songs, where does pickle jar rag land in your tier list? And I will be taking notes on who answers what for for future reasons. Is it is it S? Is it is it S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier? Where where are we landing? S tier. Hashtag pickle. That's not a tier, but I'll take it. S tier. B tier. Jalopy. Pickle jar rag four. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> Smart. I put it in A tier. Pickle tier. 100%. Pi I mean, pickle tier. It's its own tier. It's like right up there with like Haley tier. Double S tier. A tier. You don't want to hurt my feelings. Gray, what, what could you possibly say? Are you going to throw in double F tier? Uh, this is a no judgment zone. This is a judgment free zone, everybody. Like... If you don't like pickle jar rag, that's okay. I just, you know, you don't, you won't be, I'm not inviting you to sit at my table at lunch. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to go do a little bit of hardwood farming today. And I have come to realize that uh, floor 40 is the floor for me. Well, floor 41, more realistically, is the best floor for me for hardwood. Not particularly because of like heightened hardwood rates. I think the actual rates of getting hardwood are roughly the same as my Floor 21 domicile. Um, but there's also the chance on Floor 41, or my Floor 21 domicile, there's also the chance on Floor 41 of getting jades, of getting... Um, what else? Refined quartz from crystals. We can get uh, like frozen tears, which sell for more than the earth crystals down in the, in the 20 floors. So it's uh, it's just all around probably a better place to be for, for hardwood here. The Volcano Songs. Volcano Songs, I mean, they slap. But there's no reason that Pickle Jar Rag and the Volcano Songs can't inhabit the same tier. Really depends how many songs are allowed in each tier. Generally with tier lists, you can put as many songs as you want in whatever tier. You could put like all of them in S tier if you wanted to. There's not a huge point in actually making the tier list at that point, but, you know, if it gets your opinions across, if that's your true opinion that every song in Stardew Valley is S tier, S for Stardew, then, uh, I can't argue with that. Except I can and I will, because there's, I mean, most, I would say most of them are S tier, or A tier at the very least, as far as, like, video game music songs. See, this, the... That's the thing about tier lists. You kind of got to know what context you're coming at it from. If we're rating, like, Stardew music, 
in relation to other video game soundtracks, then I feel like Stardew is in the upper echelon for sure. But if you're rating them within the same soundtrack, then you gotta... Then, like, some things are gonna end up in lower tiers, even if they're still fantastic songs, right? Movie theaters tied with the Emily Dance song in your list? I... You know what? I can co-sign that. Movie theater song? Wait, which movie theater song? Is it, like, all of them? There's, like, a, there's like a few movie theater songs. Are we just talking about, like, the, uh... Like the lobby song. No matter which movie theater song you're talking about, I think it's I think you're absolutely right, but it's also uh, important to know. Actually, I don't know if the crane game song goes that hard. I feel like the crane game song, I've heard it before, and I'm like, it's like kind of repetitive. B tier. Oh, Prairie King music. Now we're talking. You want to talk about what inhab what lives in the S tier with uh, with pickle jar rag? You're listening to it right now. Hold on, just getting caught up on some chat. Yo, best luck with your exam, Atlas. Welcome in, Laney. I see you there. Smell of mushroom, best on the soundtrack. Movie theater closing is good. Movie theater closing is is a classic. It always makes me think of Leap a lot. I think that's that one, right? Or is that is Leap a lot? Like he has like a, the same song he plays at like the end of every video. And I think it's that one. Night market theme is undeniably s, a hundred percent true. Turns out Stardew music is. <sighs> this is the downside of floor forty-one. This is the downside of floor forty-one. Well, that's a that's an unfortunate reset. At least it was early on in the day. That's not so bad, but still. All right, we gotta go do our trash run again. <laughs> Rip. Oh, I also gotta do Queen of Sauce again. No hardwood was lost. That's very true. Summer Tropicala is an S tier song. Yeah. I want to, you know, fuel the discourse. I want to fuel banter and say, like, no, you're wrong. But every single take that I've seen in chat is is very true. Except for the Pickle Jar Rag takes. There were some that were, you know, besmirching Haley's good name. Haley, what do you have to say about that? I don't have a... I don't have, like, a Haley voice thing. Because we don't know what Haley's voice sounds like. But I know, I know what people know what to do. Dust sprites are too powerful. It's so true. Oh, I forgot to deposit my mushrooms. I'm just all... I'm all over the place today. All the winter songs slap. The winter songs I need to be in the right mood for, but I, I think you're... I think you're 100% right. Haley's being quiet. Haley's being very quiet. Ever since people started putting Pickle Jar Rag in B tier, Haley's been real quiet. Nightbot broke. Nightbot might be just, you know sleeping right now. Sometimes Nightbot like falls asleep on the job. It's okay. Just just give Nightbot like a minute or two and and she'll wake up. They'll wake up. Dance the Moonlight Jellies goes really hard. It's that's a classic. It's a classic banger. I would ask like what's the worst so so uh, song on the soundtrack, but it's uh but that's a that's a depressing question. We don't we don't talk about worsts around here. We only talk about bests because of exclamation point optimism. Which is that's your cue, Nightbot. Nightbot, that's your cue. There isn't a worst. There's there's a worst of like everything. If you like if you have like a category of things, there is there is one that is your least favorite or the worst. Unless it's like I don't know math, but. But we don't like to think about it here. The worst is that none are playing. So true. Nightbot! Nightbot came through! Haley wants to look her best for us. Man, she's just she's trying to make up for it. She's like, why don't people like Pickle Jar Rag? It's because they don't look good enough. Yo, Nightbot cat doing some playing a little bit of catch up. The Minds music. The Minds music is, I mean, it's per it's the perfect ambiance for the actual Minds themselves. 
All right, we're gonna give floor 41 another try. That was just the, it was just bad luck. It was just bad luck. I really just gotta get in the habit. If I like see or hear dust sprites, we're out of there. We don't want to take that risk because I mean, every reset takes a little bit of time out of, uh, out of our day for sure. Out of my like real life day. Not a fan of the spring music. I think that is some, that is, a, there's an element of like, you know, not recency bias, but you know, kind of what I mean. That like every time you start a new, like start to experience a new farm, they're hearing those songs again and again and again. So if you play like a lot of Stardew and like start new farms all the time, then those are like the most common songs to hear. Ooh, a forest sword. That's actually kind of nice. That might be our best sword so far. I mean, we're going to get an obsidian edge once we get, well, ooh, once we get deep enough in the mines. I think it's like a guarantee from one of those uh, chests. Is it like the floor 80 chest or is it, uh, is it a different one? I see dust sprites. I'm not taking the risk. Maybe I should go to floor. I mean, here's the thing. Maybe I should like divorce hardwood farming from the other types of farming, like refined quartz and jade farming and stuff. It'd be nice to kind of lump them all into floor 41 here, but the dust sprites, the dust sprites scare me, dude. Sunroom alone with rac relaxing tea. Can't argue with that. That's our go-to spa song. The only song that I'm not a huge fan of on the on the soundtrack, and I have I've been very vocal about this, is like the metal version of Sam's band. Doesn't do it for me. Just does not do it for me. It's it's too I don't know, maybe maybe metal is just not my cup of tea at the end of the day. But it's uh I don't know. It, it gets under my skin in the worst kind of way. Pirate Cave Song? Pirate Cave Song is so good, but it's like mind flooding. <laughs> like, imagine you're just going about your business. Like, chat, imagine... Hold on. Imag let's, let's, let's do a little POV here. POV... Wait a second. Hold on. I got it. It's important, chat. It's important. All right. POV. You're just going about your day. You're in like the grocery store. You're doing whatever. You're just having a very, very maudlin kind of day. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere. What's that sound? And it just keeps getting louder. And it keeps getting louder. And it keeps getting louder. And you're like, what's happening? What's happening? I don't know what's happening anymore. Ah! And then it stops. How do you feel? Rate, rate your experience from zero to 100. Rate your mood. <laughs> Almost sounds like spooky music. I feel like I'm having like a mental breakdown if, I, if that happens to me. All right, let me get the actual... Playlist going again. One hundred, one thousand, twelve hundred, one hundred. People are having a great day. Seventy-four point six. At least it's in like the higher echelon. Confused out of a hundred. Need to see my therapist out of a hundred. Can relate. Three point one four one five nine out of a hundred. I rated. Hold on. I don't hear any dust sprites, so we're going going down here. Ooh, I got my force sword again. Wait, no, that's the same force. What the heck? I thought I got the force sword in the last reset. I'm so confused. You're all the way in the frozen levels, and here I am just getting to floor 20. Yo, I know. That's, uh, I mean, getting to floor 20, experience-free, is still is still a win. Getting any depth in the mines without mining experience or combat experience is is no small feat. And don't let, don't fool yourself into thinking otherwise. Should I? I probably... You know, I mean, I, I was going to say I could like swap like the Joja Cola for some of the copper ore, but realistically, the Joja Cola is... I can sell it, so... <laughs> that crate will always be the forest sword today. That's true. I thought that the like crate locations and barrel locations and stuff were 
were the same way as like geodes that they receded and they were like set like that forever but they change from day to day don't they the patterns actually like shift every single day which is uh honestly for the best because that means that we have more chances of getting hardwood it does it is inf unfortunate that if we find a hardwood spot then we're only guaranteed to get hardwood there for that day but i'll take what i can get also looking for refined quartz, if you don't mind. A little refined quartz. Do geo patterns shift every day? Geo patterns don't, no. Just crate patterns. Yeah, geodes, geodes and staircases, I'm pretty sure, don't shift every day. Staircases, I'm not 100% on, but I'm pretty sure... I mean, I know for a fact that geodes don't. I think the only thing that causes geode patterns to shift is it when you get to level 5 mining and you pick the profession that I don't remember what it's called, but it changes your it changes your geodes. I'm pretty sure that's the case. That's what I remember from like perusing Blade's predictor. I haven't used the predictor for this uh farm, but I've used it enough like in other contexts that I I picked up on patterns and stuff. That's how I learned the knight's move strategy to begin with, is that I I was looking at it in Blade's Predictor and I'm like, oh, it's like knight's moves. Like a little little sneaky L pattern. Ooh, just a bunch of stone down there. I thought that was going to be the copper ore again. We've gotten that same copper ore barrel like three times today. There's a mod that turns all the NPCs into Grandpa. I, can I install it yesterday? That sounds great. <laughs> I want a mod that makes it so all the all the NPCs are, are Grandpa, but Grandpa is cosplaying as the NPC in question. Could you imagine, like, Grandpa cosplaying as Haley? Or, like, get Grandpa cosplaying as, like, uh, it's like Morris or something? I'm down for it. It would make romancing, like, any of the spouses extremely awkward, for sure, but it would be, uh, it would be funny. Someone make that mod, please. <laughs> Sounds like some nightmare fuel. I mean, that's isn't that what we dive into mods for half the time anyway? There are, like, three different uh, categories of mods. There's mods that are, there's quality of life mods that just like improve your like UI experience. There's fresh content mods, that, like like Stardew Expanded, that, you know, expand the game. And there's nightmare mods that you wish you didn't, that you wish didn't exist, but you're also happy they do exist so that you don't have to imagine them because your imagination is always worse than the reality. Yeah, Grandpa in several different wigs, heck yeah. What do you think is the most popular category of mods out, out of those three? What do you think is getting downloaded the most? The, the meme answer is the nightmare mods. I think the nightmare mods, they, they tickle a certain morbid curiosity within people. But I think the real answer is probably the quality of life mods. Aesthetic mods? I guess I've, I, there there would be aesthetic mods as well, yeah. They don't quite fit into any of the other categories that cleanly. Welcome in, Lisa. No worries. Happy to have you here. Where do new pet mods fall? Ugh, ugh, stay away! I didn't even notice the, the dust sprites next to that iron ore. That was too scary. That, that, that destroyed me last time. Nope. Do the dust sprites. We're gonna try. We're gonna go back to floor twenty-one. Mix it up a little bit. Get a living hat in the process, maybe. New pet mods, but I would say they are uh, new. They're content mods, right? Because they add new content. Because you, you can get new pets. Got to catch them all. Sounds like something Shawnee would do. 
I mean, Shawnee and his like uh, he he does those those like speed run cosplay races against uh, is that against Lee? Yeah, it's against Lee, right? Yeah. That's always those are always fun to see to see them all all dolled up like Mayor Lewis or something like that. It's a good time. My greatest fear for this goal is dust sprites. You're not wrong, unfortunately. Dust sprites are, are the bane of my existence right now. I just don't understand. Concerned ape. If you're making if you're if you're listening right now and making a list of, of potential changes for version 1.6, please make it so that dust sprites breaking a rock doesn't give you mining experience. It makes it's, it's make it make sense. Shawnee as Pam was beautiful. I can't even argue with it. Never have I seen a better version of Pam in all my days. They give you XP if you're close to them. You don't even have to be close to them is the thing. A dust sprite could break a rock on the entire opposite side of the floor that you're on. And you wouldn't even know. You just see, like, if you have, like, this, the UI info suite mod like I do, or some other experience mod, you just see, like, you gain four experience and be like, what? Why? <laughs> Stop. We haven't done too much this stream, Lisa. We got to floor 60, and now we're currently farming hardwood. We had to reset one speed on the hardwood farming day because of uh, a dust sprite ruined my day and my hopes and my dreams. But that's just par for the course these days. You love UI Info Suite? It's so good. It is really good, yeah. I don't use it for much of uh, anything. Like, I use it for the experience, but I don't want to, you know... I want this to feel as vanilla as possible possible most of the time. But uh, the experience makes it a better viewing experience, I would think. No pun intended. But it has a lot of other great features, too. Does UI Info Suite have an option to let you see what the fish is when you hook it? Or is that a different mod? Is this a Mori OST? This is Stardew OST, my friend. There's there's some Mother 3 sprinkled in, but this particular song is, is Stardew. Different mod. It's like the fishing overlay mod or something like that. I think that could be that could be a potential good one for this challenge as well. Because if you get like a, a goal that's like catch X fish, like you don't want to accidentally catch the wrong fish and have to reset the day. Not that it's like that big of a deal, but because you can all you can usually tell anyway. Oops. Well I guess we'll take it while I'm here. Yeah, it's not like that big of a deal to reset the, the day, but you can also typically tell for most fish what, what they are just based on the pattern. At least I can. Fish info overlay, that's a classic, yeah, okay. I didn't know if it was baked into UI info suite or if it was its own thing. Good to know. Little goobins. Goobins music. We currently have six hardwood, and we've had six hardwood for, for like... A, w a good while now. We, ha we have not seen a single hardwood drop in, I want to say, like, close to one in-game week. Not that we've been hardwood farming that entire in-game week, but we've hardwood farmed, like, a decent portion of it. Six whole hardwoods. One for every ten floors of the mines. Maybe we need to go another ten floors deep. Maybe that's what it's telling me. We won't get our ten hardwood until we get to, uh, or 100. You having zero. I'm just looking forward to chat. Can't you wait for the time? <laughs> Aren't you excited for when our second goal is like ship a banana and we have to get to Ginger Island? And to get to Ginger Island, we have to do this to get not 10, but 200 hardwood. <laughs> oh, baby. I can't wait. I think we're going to do some of that hardwood grinding off screen if it comes to that. We're just, we're gonna have to at that point. It's like, there's no way around it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, speaking of hardwood. 
pulled you. I mean, that's stone. Sometimes you gotta call your shot, though. How about ship a parsnip, please? That would, I mean, that'd be great, honestly. Although, it would depend what season we end this uh, goal in. What if we, like, end this goal on summer one of year two, and then it's like, ship a parsnip, and you're like, son of a... <laughs> At least it's at least then it's like not bad. You just have to like sleep a while, but get a combat level. That would just be the ultimate gut punch, because then I it would have been like I could have just gotten Dwarf Scroll three anyway for the six combat experience. But it was, still would be a, a gracious task for sure. Go to Ginger Island and plant the parsnips there. Genius. Genius, you're so right. Craft cheese seasoning? Cheese seasoning is not craftable, but I like where your head's at. Once you get ship a parsnip, can you just ship as many parsnips as you want after that? You can, but you have to bear in mind that you can only get so many parsnips without leveling up farming. Unless you have a different way of getting parsnips that I'm hitherto unfamiliar with. Catch sturgeon? I would catch a sturgeon. I hope that whatever our first fishing goal is, whichever fish is our first fish, is a really hard fish. Because the first fish you catch, you're always guaranteed to catch it. Because of the you have like your fishing tutorial thing. So I really hope it's not something like, go catch green algae, dummy. And then the next goal is, yeah, why don't you catch the, go catch the lava eel now. At level zero fishing. Good luck. <laughs> catch a legend. Thankfully we can't get that one until we get at least level six fishing. Because then a uh, seafoam pudding can bring us the rest of the way. What will be the worst crafting goal for goal number two? Well, we can't get any of the crafting goals that involve, uh... Or wait, can we get crafting goals that involve entering the Walnut Room? No, we can't, because I'm pretty sure Enter the Walnut Room is its own goal. So any recipes that we get from there would be not possible. We can get, like, we could get Craft Deluxe Retaining Soil, which you get from, the recipe for that is from the Island Trader. That's just bad because you have to get to Ginger Island, so it's, it's, I mean, it's bad... By virtue of that alone. Oh, it's midnight. Not a great day as far as farming, to be honest. No hardwood. Very few gems, even. It's just, you know, some days are a bust like that, I guess. Maybe craft a cask. That wouldn't be too terrible. Oh, I guess that would be kind of bad, because you don't need hardwood to upgrade your, your house to the final stage. That'd be pretty rough. Yeah, craft a cask. Ooh, you guys hear that? Sneaky little tree falling over. Thanks for guarding my house, Mr. Slime. Your services are no longer required. All right, sell the quartz, sell the frozen tears, Joja Cola, and field snacks. Good to go. Tree wood. I don't know where the tree fell though, but it's out there somewhere. I guess I can like let me let me quickly do a quick little screenshot here. Cause I think the wood will disappear if I don't go and get it like right now. Let's have a look. <laughs> Alright, chat. Let's play a little I spy, shall we? Where's the wood? Where'd that tree fall over? Can it and can anyone... I see it! I see it! It's right there. Okay, I shouldn't have pointed it out. I should have asked if other people could find it too, but it's actually, like, very close. It's there. Right by the stumps. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. We got it. Yo, there's also... There's a there's a little slime hiding over there. A little baby goobins. Let's go get them. Actually, did I put away my... I put away my sword already. I'm not going to worry about going... This goobins can live this day. 12 wood, 5 sap. Honestly, worth. Highly worthwhile. It won't despawn until you quit the game. 
There's like wibbly wobbly rules about that though. All right, off to bed. Yeah, 370 gold. It's not what you want to see. Usually on like a hardwood farming day, you want to get like enough quartz and stuff to get at least like, you know, 500 gold. That's that's on the low end for sure. All right. Quick fortune teller check. Gold pyramid. All right, so we're going for floor 65 today. It is also debris day, but we will not celebrate debris day until we know for a fact that it's our... That is going to stick. Chop one little seed for good luck, and then we're off to the mines. I love watching Craig swim. There's something hypnotic about it. If he, Imagine you could get that as like a like a screensaver. Do people use, still use screensavers these days? My screen just like goes black eventually. I kind of want to get another screensaver, to be honest with you, though. That would be, like, the, the 3D pipes. Oh, man. There's nothing quite like the 3D pipe map. If you've never experienced the 3D pipe map screensaver from, like, the Windows XP era or even earlier, potentially, you're missing out, I'm telling you. You could just, like, look up a video of that, probably. Gonna get a screensaver just because you said this? Fish tank screen saver from the 90s. It already exists. All right, chat. Quick poll. The brick maze. Ooh. That just sparked its own nostalgic memory. You'll love that one, too. All right. How many resets for floor 65? Fresh, clean, new slate. All right. Zero. Now's your chance to be in, in the zero reset gang when we do it first try here. Six to 10, 11 plus. Zero resets today. Thanks for the optimism, Benny and Spooky. Let's get it. Yeah, I don't even know what like modern screensavers look like. Pinball 3D was so good. Is that space, the Space Cadet 3D pinball? Somewhere between one and a million? I'm jokes on you, Wickety. Zero is not between one and a million. All right. Um, I was going to take a screenshot of this floor. I don't think there's going to be any other staircases on this floor. We could go catch an ice pip, but we can't actually. All right, so there's a chance for freebies on floor 61 here. And there's also a chance for that, which is scary in its own right. I think we just reset floor 61 for freebies. This is very familiar to, like, floor 41 resets. And I'm pretty sure this will work. There are 4D pipes in now. The pipes actually come out of your monitor and punch you in the face. We'll do this for a little bit. And if we don't get any, any good freebies at the start here, then we'll... We'll start mining proper. But I want to give I want to give my zero reset believers. Ooh, I want to give them the best possible chance here. And this is what we do. This is how we do it. Alright. Now things get a little more real though. Let me move my floor 55 to 60 into their into their purgatory. Their purgatory folder. Let me have a look here. No freebies, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to start mining. I should split up 1 to 5 since 5 is on the high end, and they don't usually take that long. 1 to 3, 4, four to 5. I could do like 1 to 3, 4 to 6, but I don't know. I, I like increments of 5. That's just how my brain tends to work. A little frozen geode for the road. Oh, and a staircase for the road. Don't mind if I do. Who's voting 11 plus? <laughs> it's the pet. I mean, there's got to be... We, we're, we're in a community full of optimists. you got to have some pessimists to balance it out. It's your jam. This is the movie theater song. This, this You know what? I can't even argue. This is a certified banger. All right, no freebies on this floor either. Not a great look, but I mean, we made it through the last floor. 
floor 20 people. <laughs> yeah, the people who are still scarred by the floor 15 to 20 experience are believing the 11 plus resets. They don't know that the meta has changed. We only go on good luck days now, and it makes all the difference. Part of me wants to experiment going on neutral luck days as well. I feel like neutral luck, there's a chance that, you know... I mean, we'll get fewer staircases in general, probably. But we'll also get fewer times where we get ore out of a rock or something, right? It might be the perfect balance. It might be the only time where neutral luck days are ideal. It might be worth at least testing around with. Not that we need it today, clearly. Is this the one is this the song that ends with like the snaps? I love the I love the little snaps at the end of the song. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a good feeling. That's that's the feel good hit of the summer right there. All right. 464. This is we only need one staircase. We only need one staircase. This could be it, chat. Hold on. I'm going to open it up and bring you into the lab. Do we have a freebie? It's, also, it's very dark in here. Very ambient. A little ambient occlusion. I see... If, if we get hardwood out of these crates and barrels, we're going for that first. If we get some hardwood out of the crates and barrels, there's a 100% chance that we get this in zero resets. Mark my words. I'm, gonna, I'm going for it. If we don't get hardwood out of it, there's still a... Uh, there's still a 60% chance. But the odds decrease dramatically. I'm just I'm just glad that that was not ore in that stone. That would have made me look like such a fool. Ooh! 100% chat, let's go! Zero reset believers rise up. The lucky hardwood coming in clutch. All right, now we just got to make it actually come true. Please, don't let, don't let the bats be the reason this doesn't happen. Are you... What happened to my 100%? It's, it was, uh, Chad, it was 99% rounded up to 100. No! My 99%! Oh, jeez. Alright, well. <laughs> At least we know that there's, like, a, a hardwood tile here, so we could get hardwood again in the future once we get back down. We just gotta get back down is the, is the next thing. Hold on, I don't want to die. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry to my zero reset believers. We're in we're in one to five territory now. Yeah, we, there's a chance we get hardwood today. It's not a guarantee because the crates and barrels don't always spawn on the same spots when you make it to this floor. I believe. Um, but the chance is there. I mean, if we're going to get hardwood anywhere, it's going to probably be in one of those sections where we've got so many crates and barrels. All right, I'm going to I'm going to get away from here. This is a this is a bad time. Also, those slimes are mating. I don't can't have that happening on stream. Man, they're really making me work for this one, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. This is this is just this is just embarrassing at this point. Maybe we can just get a nice staircase close to the the ladder anyway. That would be more ideal for for future resets here. Nice, we 11 plus today, Aluga. Take it back. Take it back, Aluga. Zero reset gang, still strong for next time. So true. Right next to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it was right beside me. No. No, I had eyes for hardwood and it blinded me to what was next to my left ankle. Oh, all right, well. Now we know. Now now we'll be able to tell sight on scene when we get back to floor 64. If we're if we're making it through. Whoops, I think I misclicked. There we go. Alright, reset me. Silver linings, chat. Silver linings and optimism. We can do this. We got this. Chop the tree for good luck. 
pet pie as well. You gotta go through the rituals. You gotta be like Bill Murray and Groundhog's Day. You gotta, you know, experiment with things every single day and see what sticks until eventually you wake up next to the love of your life or whatever. No spoilers. Why not go for the floor 65? We have the path now for floor 65. We have staircases, or we know the locations of staircases on 61 through 64. So if we can follow that path experience tree and get to floor 65, then we then we'll have one. Plus one hardwood for every reset. I hope you're right. <laughs> Pi has been pet 66 times. Pi has been pet more times than the depth of our floors in the mines. Alright. We look for freebies here. We look for freebies. 61 is our freebie floor, 100% of the time. Omelette du fromage. A cheese omelette. I'm not too worried about dust sprites here because, I mean... A reset's a reset, no matter how small. Anyone jive with the with a there was I had like a a Doctor Seuss like a, a big collection of Doctor Seuss stories when I was a kid. I, I wish I still had that book. Are you kidding me though? Hold on a second. Can I get to that staircase? We're taking a chance. It was, it was such a nice big book of Dr. Seuss stories. I loved it. And Horton Hears a Who was in there. It was, uh... There was the, the Ooblek. What were the other ones? The Big Book of Sleep. That was my favorite one. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss slaps, dude. A person's a person, no matter how small. Wiser words have never been said. All right. Bring into the lab here. No freebies, but that's okay, because we don't need a freebie. And we got a staircase right there. Do, 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 do. No knight's moves. Okay, maybe we did need the freebie. We're going to hope not, though. You have several books of Dr. Seuss stories. I swear that that one, it, it was like a bright yellow... Ooh, a nice bright yellow book. I want to try and learn something here. Hold on. I want to compare these real quick. I don't I don't know if Dr. Seuss stories have like different uh like if there's different titles for the various anthologies or if it's just like Dr. Seuss stories part 2. I want to try to learn something here cuz these staircases were actually very close together. Like this staircase here on floor 62 was very close to this one. Chat, do you think there's do you think there's information to be had there? It's like a long knight's move. It's like the knight. It's the cheating move. It's you go one up and three to the right. What if we start incorporating that one up and three to the right technology, or one down, three to the left? It could open up our possibilities. I don't know if that actually tracks. I don't know if the patterns go like that. But those were close enough that it makes me want to at least like try. And we're nothing if not Stardew scientists around here. Get some Argon Smart in chat. I forget what the actual emoji's called, but it might be Argon Smart. <laughs> it's the one where Chloe's wearing the glasses. I need to learn the names of my own dang emojis, dude. Anyway. Floor 62. Well, floor 63 now. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I, I, she looks so funny with glasses. Funny, but like in a good way. Little Argon Smart. That is the right name? Perfect. All right. Not a freebie to be found. That's okay. What about over there? All right. Do, do, do. No, obviously not. Do, 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 do. Th that might be one right there next to the iron ore. Huddled up next to the iron ore could be one. What about our other tech? What about our uh, cheating knight tech? One up, three to the right, too far. One down, three, th three to the left. One down, three to the left. I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the iron ore, I think. <laughs> Imagine that works though. Imagine it does work. But we're this is this is just regular knights move tech, so we're we're anticipating this working. In a perfect world. 
I'm mad. I'm mad about that one. I put my confidence, I put my trust in that staircase. And it had the gall not only to lead me to iron ore, but it didn't, it didn't even give me a staircase at the same time. If it had at least given me a staircase, I could have been like, alright, fair play. But no. The knight's move led me astray. For, for the first time in a long time, it led me, it led me so far astray. That's going to be two resets. Love this music. It's a fantastic song. It's, it's you know... It's the vibes we need to counteract the counteract the the stress. All right, that's a this is a cursed staircase. We mark it. We mark the cursed staircase with the magnet ring. But we could get some knights move information out of it at the very least. Imagine someone tunes in, and this is their first time listening to a Stardew Valley stream, and they say, they hear me talking, we're gonna mark the staircase with the magnet ring because it's not Knight's Move technology certified. It's cursed by the by the order of the knights, and they're like, what the heck is this game about? I thought this was a farming simulator. <laughs> Hello, Casey. Welcome on in. Oh, my inventory's full. Oops. The horses did me dirty. It's so true. All right. We get another floor 64 map here. We indeed will be able to. No, we can't because I well I actually don't know. Cuz like we'll we'll try. We'll at least try here cuz I like the, there's a rock here. Like I know that this rock has the has the staircase, right? Yeah. It's going to have it. Well, you know what? That's good to actually just verify that that's a consistent one cuz they're not always consistent, but We'll just, uh, we'll mark that one for the future. Alright, two resets deep. You always have the view zoomed all the way out. I can't do it. it gives me vertigo. I like I like the 100% view. I've played with it for so long. It's, uh, it's the way for me. Alright, what if we don't top chop the tree this time and just pet pie? Your zoom level doesn't only hurt me, it kills me. 100% zoom. I mean, it's it's 100% for a reason. It's perfect equilibrium. This is how the game was intended to be played. If Concerned Ape wanted you to play at max zoom level, max zoom level would be 100% zoom level. And then there would be, like, ultra max zoom level for crazy people. Where you're just playing, like, where the camera doesn't move at all. You just see the entire map all at once, and you're like a little a little lemming. Navigating, navigating the maze down. While you're while you're like feel like a god watching from on high, you always play with eighty five percent zoom, so you're like a little zoomed in. Oh wait, oh wait, is eighty five percent? No, eighty five percent is is a little zoomed out. Okay, I, I was thinking I was I had it reversed in my brain. Play with seventy five percent. No judgment here. We are not zoom elitists in this uh, in this community. At least I'm not. All right, hit me with 62. Ooh, there's a lot of dust sprites on this floor. It's making me somewhat nervous. Maybe we can just get a nice clean staircase right off the bat here, though. Okay, is there knight's move tech here? Do 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 do. No knight's move tech. What about here? Definitely not. Is there is there false knighthood tech? False knights? I don't think so. We're just gonna have to start mining. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. We are going for 120 eventually, yeah. That is that is the ultimate plan of ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions as far as the eye can see. And only one will survive. I wonder who will it be? That is such an old video at this point, isn't it? Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny. I remember seeing that in like middle school or something. Quickly snag this cheeky little frozen tear. If I don't mind don't mind if I do. Oh, I was looking at chat, and then I look back and see the the fading experience. <laughs> Man, 
floor 62. That's a that's a new PB for for worst floor achieved in this run. That's okay. We'll still get our staircase. It's just going to be a little farther away than we're used to. Resets 3. Not yet it isn't. Like in theory, I could I could just not reset this. As long as we don't get make it to level one mining, we're technically good. But once we once we make it to level one mining, then we're we have to guarantee a reset. This is a lot of experience to take on the chin though. And I'm nothing if not like a perfectionist to a certain extent. I don't want to go for any of those rocks because I feel like they're too close to the other staircases. But it might end up being that way, honestly. Excuse me. I didn't know dust sprites could like trap you in like that. Okay, there's our staircase. Just just tucked away in this very, very claustrophobic corner here. 62-3. Welcome in, Jay Nuggets. There's a freebie. No information acquired from freebies. I got experience there. Right? That must have been a dust sprite. I was going to say, there's no way I got experience from breaking the dang crystal. <laughs> All right. 464, no freebies and no rock next to the ladder, so we can actually get some more potential information here. While the Volcano Mines plays its dulcet tones in the background. You're going to the desert to avoid six com combat experience, and you're okay taking mining experience look not all experience is created equal honestly if there's any experience that i would be happy taking it would be combat experience this is less about avoiding six combat experience and more about like unlocking skull caverns the fact that i can you know use dwarf scroll 3 as a good uh as a good launching off point to unlock skull caverns and the treasure rooms and all the content that comes with it potentially for future goal prospects is just the icing on the cake the sixth combat experience, though, is pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Volcano so mine songs are the only good mine songs. What the heck? I've never seen that take before. Everyone loves the mine songs. They're so they're so such nice ambiance. All right, we're resetting. But I can still unlock Skull Cavern. Yeah, but. Why not unlock it now? Because it's it's part of the it's just part of the master plan. You just gotta trust me on this one, chat. You gotta trust me on this one. All right, we're gonna pet pie. We're gonna break this tree, and we're gonna break this tree. That's the good luck tree we were missing last time. Yeah, like we would eventually unlock Skull Cavern anyways, but why not make it part of our. Uh, our initial grind here, you know, just... I mean, I guess the, the reason not to make a part of the initial grind is that maybe future goals would make it much easier to unlock Skull Cavern and to and to do all that, but... You know, I don't have a good reason. I just want to do it this way. Is that so bad, chat? Is that so bad that I want to, you know... I want to look back on the challenge and say to myself, you know what, I did everything I could to, to min-max each goal to the extreme in my own special Argon way. Three resets, three resets is correct. All right. Everyone say, uh, say a nice warm welcome to Gertrude, our emotional support bunny. Hopefully she'll see us through to 465 today. Ooh. Good luck, Jade, potentially. I just love the look on Gertrude's face. It's like the rabbit, you would think if you make if you're making a plush rabbit like that, you would want to make it look like somewhat, you know, jovial 
and and happy it's like happy to see you i mean you're making the plush it doesn't have to be necessarily true to life there's no rabbit that's this large why you make the face look so like bedpan so nonplussed <laughs> i love it though i mean i i love it because i'm i'm a i'm a weird person but it's also just like it's just so funny to me wouldn't make a nice, you know, smiling bunny. Although maybe a smiling bunny is a little cursed now that I think about it. You could make like an indie horror movie about that, maybe. Smiling bunny. Staring into your soul with those single pixels for eyes. Alright, floor 61. I mean, I know you're housing a freebie in here somewhere within the depths of your, uh... Of your permafrost. It's only a matter of time. It's okay, I'm patient. I can wait. Concerned Ape had it represent his emotions while writing 16 million lines of code. I have to believe that Concerned Ape enjoyed every every aspect of, of the coding experience for Stardew Valley. Well, maybe not every aspect. There's ups and downs for sure, but... The amount of, like, life and passion and and just joy that oozes from all the aspects of Stardew Valley here is just, uh, makes me feel like, you know, it's, it's definitely a labor of love. Gertrude looking displeased. What's the current goal? It is pinned at the top of the chat. We are currently trying to befriend the dwarf. You might not be able to, to guess it by... By what we're doing right now. I mean, the mic this microcosm of a goal is to get to floor 65 without gaining any experience. And eventually we'll get the freebie that enables us to try. I'll take a little little quartz for the road. Robus says he's just shedding his skin. We stand that. I'm also just shedding my skin. We're all we're all just like shedding our skin. If you really think, stop and think about it, you probably shouldn't stop and think about it for too long because it's a little disquieting. But we are all currently shedding our skin. Omg, he's just like me for real. All right. Do we have staircase luck today? Hit me with it. That's a that's a knight's move right there. We're gonna go knight's move tech first. And then we might have to go false night tech if this if this fails. If fa uh, what the heck? I was so confident night's move tech has done some uh done, done some amazing work for us in the past. All right, well that's unfortunate. I think that was the only one there, but all right, what do we got there? That's there's no false night tech either. That's un wow. Okay. All right, well, we just... Wait, don't, don't we have another one here? We got one in the nook, right? Over in the nook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right in the nook there. This... I mean, it's not a great spot because we can't even really do much with knight's moves. Like one... Do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yes, there's no shot. All right, we're just going to have to mine. Our flesh is impermanent. That's a very cursed sentence, and I kind of like it. It's very true, but it's very, like, H.R. Geiger. Is it H.R. Geiger? I don't know. Ooh, baby! Ooh, baby, a triple! Might be one of my favorite genres of internet video is children getting unreasonably excited about, you know, mildly exciting things. Like, I wish I could muster the level of excitement that, like, the Nintendo 64 kid had when he got his Nintendo 64 for Christmas. I wish I could muster that level of excitement for anything in my, cur in my current, like, age. <laughs> I just expended all that energy when I was a child, and now I can't get it back. I want a refund. All right. We got a lot- there's so many dust sprites? What on earth? There's like 10% of my dust sprite eradication goal in this room. 
what on earth is this? I didn't even wear monster musks today. All right, we're not looking for dust sprites though. We're looking for staircases. Ooh, that's a little sneaky staircase over there. Oh, that's I went too back. I went too far back. Do do do. No, all right, no knights. That might be the only two. That's the only two maps we got. All right, we just got to make do then. Childlike joy and wonder is so good. It, it makes me feel so happy. Like, just watching, like, ch childlike wonder like that and those reactions and stuff. If it gives me, if it can give me even, like, 1% of the, of the joy that that child is feeling in that moment, sign me up. I'll watch a 10-hour loop. It'll never get old. All right, I gotta be scared because dust sprites could be mining staircases somewhere, and I I wouldn't wouldn't even know it. Like the staircase could just spawn at any point if a dust sprite wills it so. So I gotta be on the lookout for that. What's needed on level sixty-five? The path to level seventy. And then from there to level 75, and so on and so forth, down to floor 120 for the Skull Key, because we need to unlock Skull Cavern. Still no mining experience, which is very nice with all these, this amalgam of dust sprites. Ooh, I told you! Sometimes the dust sprites, you know, sometimes they actually do uh, benefit you. No mining experience on that one. We'll take it. 63-3. All right, uh, we don't have a rock there. That's unfortunate. That's one that we can easily check. But we might just have a freebie. And we don't even need to concern ourselves at all. Confirmed zero freebies. What do we need in Skull Cavern? Uh, we need to go down to treasure rooms to get slime eggs for our slime hutch. So we can kill the slimes in the slime hutch to get a Dwarf Scroll 3 experience free. There are three resets deep. Correct, correct. Thank you thank you for tracking, Laisha. Thank you. All right. What do we got here? I mean, that's... There's there's no Knight's Move tech here, surely. I only go, like, three Knight's Moves deep these days. It seems to be... The, it seems to be a good number. Do-do-do. 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 Yeah, I don't think so. Is, is there false knighthood? There might be false, some false knighthood. It's almost false knighthood right there. What am I talking about? <laughs> one, one, two, three. So close. Wait, is that... That's not even right. That would have been like... I would have had to go down. Okay, so that's not a big deal. I think we're just going to have to mine here. Is Yep, that's, the, that's my cue to start mining. Is very convoluted. I never said it wasn't. I appreciate I appreciate the well wishes. It is an extremely convoluted plan. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Welcome in, Luna. Always seem to pop in mid mines run. Turns out 98% of these streams are mining and resetting. <laughs> There's reset four coming in hot. Show me what we got in the crates and barrels at the very least. Now I have to know. Show me because I need to know. Uh-oh. I'm going to freaking die. Weirdo, so look at... We paid $100 per ticket for Linkin Park and then just look at their phone for the whole show. <laughs> Could not be me. I definitely try to limit my, my phone usage especially in unique social situations like that. Just seems, you know, rude. If not rude to other people around me, rude to myself. Robbing myself of the of the social experience, the enjoyment of a, of a, of a lovely dinner or a concert or whatever might have you. Although I wouldn't enjoy a concert all that much. All right, we didn't miss out on any hardwood this time. That's, you know, small mercies.
It's the little victories that add up over time. This ghost is haranguing me, and I will not tolerate it. I'm going to mine this ghost out of existence. Sister made steak for dinner. Oh, I'm so jealous. I worked earlier today, and I didn't get home in enough, in enough time to, like, make anything reasonable for dinner, so I just made another sandwich. Just another cheese and ham sandwich. Why does it sound weird when I say cheese and ham sandwich as opposed to ham and cheese sandwich? What's the what's the rationale behind that? Is there a reasoning? Does it sound weird to anybody else when I say cheese and ham sandwich? There's like no reason that it shouldn't be the exact same thing. And it like it is it is categorically the like identical object, but the way I'm describing it makes me upset. The ordering of the words does not it just doesn't sound right in my brain. There's gotta be, like, a word for that. Look, I can only take so much of... ...of Bat 1 and Bat 2 and their, and their boogie woogie friend... ...before I start to go insane here. Oh, well, at least Bat 3 is joining the party, so... <laughs> An order of adjectives? What define... Well, like, what's the... Number one, order of adjectives, great band name. Number two, can I join the order of adjectives? Sounds like a fun time. Number three, what categorizes each the order of adjectives? Is it like based on things? <laughs> is, it, is it based on things? It probably is based on things, Argon. I can tell you that one for free. What I mean is, it, is it, like, based on the category of, like, things it's describing, I guess? Because, like, if I say, like, if I say, like, it's a big blue sky, it sounds, that sounds normal, right? But if I say it's a blue big sky, that's not right. That's, there's, that's just wrong. I would, if you put, wrote down it's a blue big sky, your teacher would circle that in red ink every single time. But would they be able to tell you what's wrong with it, or would they just be like, this is wrong, fix it? Fix it, fix it, Felix. It's called the Royal Order of Adjectives? No, it's not. You're making that up. <laughs> if it is, that's awesome. And I want to, it sounds like a club that I would love to join. Is there, like, a flow chart that I can follow? The order of adjectives is like a school club. Yo, let's expand the lore of our anime alphabet. My favorite recurring bit. Where all the alf where all the letters of the alphabet are characters in an anime set in a high school. There could be we can have the order of the adjectives. Four resets. We're on our that that is our fourth reset. Okay, yeah. So we're st we're still in the first bracket of resets. Well, second bracket of resets. First realistic bracket of resets, but don't tell the zero believers that I said that. I'm gonna chop this piece of wood. That might be the difference maker right there. Opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose. It is a. So if I'm, I'm, I'm we're going back to the sky example. I gotta, I gotta work it through in my brain. It's a lovely, big. Ancient, vast, blue, spatial, gaseous sky. I, th I think I missed purpose, but <laughs> that sounded right. I mean, I think I think that that's that's the certifiable order of adjectives. No one's ever describing the sky like that again, but. Big old square purple Norwegian wooden spoon. That sounds good to me, yeah. But what if I mix up like two of those adjectives? Big square old purple, nope. Big purple old square, nope. Big Norwegian's old square, nope. Big wooden, I mean you can, definitely can't move wooden because wooden spoon is like its own, that's like the, the noun. Dang, uh, the order of adjectives. More robust than you might think. Someone transcribe that. Peep OG. 
I'm gonna have to like try and memorize the order of adjectives. I mean, I just like that's 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 a cool thing is that like the order of adjectives it's like defined like that, but we also all just kind of know it because like we know when something sounds wrong. It's just like it's it's like I don't know if there's an element of like how we teach English that makes it like that or how we uh or if it's just like baked into our brains because we hear it all the time. Yo, we got a freebie. Freebie on floor 62 here. I also saw some crates and barrels that I'm going to go check out. Need that extra hardwood luck. We're learning. Learning with Argon. Argon's also learning, though. Learning new information is, is one of the... Is one of my favorite parts about a stream. Order of operations in math, logic and programming compute in computer, in computers. I guess yeah, it's a, it's a similar concept for sure. All right, floor sixty three. I already have a, a photo named floor sixty three. Well, it's just named sixty three, but hold on a second. All right, 60, 62, we didn't need any more. Okay. I got it all sorted out. I got all my all my floors in a duck, or all my ducks in a row. Why not both? All right. I see a diamond. We don't care about the diamond, unfortunately. I do not see a freebie. It's all right. That's a, there's a lot of rocks here. One of them has to be right. Doot. Do, do, do. This could be false knight's move tech. Do I go test it, though? I'm not very confident in false knight's move tech yet. I haven't seen it. I haven't actually had a chance to test it. One up and three to the right. We're going to give it a try. We're, we're going to give it the old college try here. False knight's move. The cheating knight. The cheating knight never wins. My broken clock is right twice a day. I didn't need to take another picture. That's my bad. All right, that's fine. We still got lots of pictures, though. We still got lots of comparisons to make. Lots of maps to, to cross-reference here. What about that one up there? That is there Knight's move? Do, do, do. No. Do, do, do. Not happening. There's one more staircase here, right? Right on the corner there. Shoot. We're batting a thousand here. All right. Well, we're just gonna have to make a make a. So anyway, I started mining. It's the same reason that paper, rock, scissors sounds bad. That doesn't sound as bad to me as the adjectives out of order, though. Paper, rock, scissors. I could I could like, if someone said that, I'd be I kind of like give them like a little side eye. I get I'd like raise my eyebrow, not like all, not like a full raise, but like enough of a raise to be like, you all right, buddy. But I wouldn't really say anything, probably, because I, 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 I would understand. I mean, I would understand the order of adjectives thing, too. If someone said, like, bl like blue big sky. But I would be much more likely to correct them in that case. Come on, man. Is that, is that going to be five resets? Are we five resets deep now? Paper, scissors, stone. I've never heard paper, scissors, stone. I kind of like that, though. Boulder Parchment Shears. Anyone know that one? Oops. That's not a thing I need. Why do I feel like I'm going to take more damage with, like, so many dust sprites on me? As about, like, I think... Because I can only take damage from one dust sprite at a time, so it shouldn't matter how many I have, but... The fact that there are, like, three occupying my person at the same time just makes me more stressed out. D&D. &D. It's, it's Critical Role, specifically. Actually, I don't know if Critical Role is the original originator of Boulder Parchment Shears, but it's where I first heard it. Boulder Parchment Shears activated my brain. You got the perfect warlock. Your weapons and supplies. But you need a place to track your stuff, because you're so disorganized. 
I can't sing the rest of it. It's an ad and I'm not being sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. But it's a great, it's a banger of a song. What's the best uh, marketing song? Like a song that's used in a commercial or that you associate with a brand? It does not have to be a long song. Things like uh, do, 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 Green Giant, that counts, I think. Is that, Even though I think that's like the entire song. I didn't know you get, get gold ore out of these rocks. What the heck? What's the best one? For, for your money? You have to pick one. You can't say multiple. You have to just pick one. Farmer's insurance. I'm not. I don't know if I'm familiar with that. O'Reilly. This is this is my covert way of learning new brand songs that I need to go listen to. Like a jingle, yeah, like a jingle. But it's not always just a jingle. Like the Mr. Clean song. Like Mr. Clean gets tough on dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and every room within it. Floors, doors, walls, halls, he's so tough he cleans them all. Stuck on stains and tile he'll do, your bathroom is clean as new. Or looks clean as new. Mr. Clean gets stuff on stuck on stuff, cleans kitchens in a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and every room within it. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. That's more That's more than a jingle. That's, that's a certified bop. I don't know if it's the best one. Liberty Mutual. Liberty Mutual. They just go... Liberty, or something like that. You'd never heard that Mr. Clean song? Where? Did, I didn't make it up, I promise you that. <laughs> or maybe I did. That would be wild, though, if my brain came up with that. General Insurance. Stanley Steamers. Stan Steamers, a carpet cleaner. Oh, that, that one lives rent-free. McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a classic. I don't know if it's, like, if it stands up to some of the other ones. Some of the other ones are, like, so bombastic, which is what makes them so good. Should I be concerned with this many monsters in my in my vicinity? <laughs> I feel like I should be more concerned than I am. There's, like, 800 monsters trying to kill Beatrix right now, and I'm, I'm singing Mr. Clean songs over here. <laughs> Just the way we roll, though. All right, 63-4. We'll take it. No freebie spotted, so we go start mining. Ricola is so good. Ricola! Yeah, that's it. That's... You know what, I can... That might be the best one, honestly. Alright, this is a cursed... We we mark this one with a cursed magnet ring. Hold on, I want to get the magnet ring a little closer than that, probably. Ryan, what if I throw it from, like, back here? That's good. That's good right there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and mark that as a cursed staircase. But, we can use it for knight's move potential. Probably not, because it's, like, in this weird corner, but still... All information is good information. 64-4. Reset me. This is reset number five, right? Reset number five. One to five believers. This one's for you. This is our last true attempt on that. It's the most common bracket for sure. I do think we probably could try and mix it up with uh, doing like one to three, four to six next time. Make the odds a little tighter. Whopper, Whopper, double, Whopper, junior, Whopper, double, triple. What the heck is this? I feel like I just went mildly insane. Resets five. I believe this is five resets. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure this is five resets, though. Big Mac song? I don't know if I've ever heard the Big Mac song. Who is that old McDonald's character that was like like the moon like his head is just a crescent moon what's his name is he mr blue moon mr blue sky what's the jingle for nobody couldn't tell you nobody knows the troubles i've seen mr moon or something mac tonight mac tonight that's the one mac tonight's my guy he's my boy 
If I had to pick one of the McDonald's characters to be friends with, I'm going with Mac tonight, dude. He seems like so he seems like such a chill guy. Mac tonight's the kind of guy to get your pronouns right the first time. Or if he doesn't, he'll apologize and start using the 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 correct ones, which I mean everybody should. But the fact that he gives off those vibes is, is a very good sign to me. All right. Let's go ahead and... 62 it up here. Yeah, Mac tonight's so chill. I'm a Scientologist. That's kind of a religion. I don't know anything about Scientology. Probably shouldn't delve into that one, but... Alright. PJR in chat, by the way. Get some PJRs. Wasn't there some controversy with that, Fell, with Mac tonight? I hope not. My beloved. PJR, the great equalizer. PJR moment. Alright. Let's go ahead and... There's this is lovely crate sitting right in front of me here. But we're not worried about the crates, we're worried about staircases. No, um, this is this is a very barren floor. Very barren floor indeed. Do I have one more map? I think I do. Dude, wow. Okay, <laughs> just there, it's not even giving me any chances here. This is to be fair. This is not a great floor for Knight's Move tech because there's so many corners and wraparounds and stuff and dead ends that uh. That it kind of throws off the whole pattern that you need for, for Knights Move Tech to work in the first place. Mm, I shouldn't be mining these ones. These are too close to the other staircases. Most iconic for you is a slogan, not a jingle. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It's now a common expression here. From Ron Seals, quick dry wood stain. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Quick dry wood stain. You know what? <laughs> they got me. It probably does exactly what it says on the tin. All right, we got our staircase. No experience as well. We're still we're still in that five reset lifestyle. But save sixty two dash five just to be on the safe side. Sixty two dash five. Holy crap! <laughs> we got a lot of we got a lot of maps out of this one. All right, I, so we already got a rock broken by dust sprites there. Does, that does not bode well. We want to get out of this floor ASAP. Unfortunately, we do not have any freebies to facilitate this. No, no freebies. Okay, that's all right. We take a lark. Do, 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 do. That's knight's move tech. Although I know the knight's move from this one failed last time, I think, right? Is that a curse? Is that wait? Is that a curse staircase? Yeah, no. This one's. I remember. This fooled me last time. This one's an iron ore, and I'm not falling for your tricks again. Could not be me. Do 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 do. This one could be me though. That one could be me. The it's at the bottom of this lowercase i right here. We're gonna go check that. Aw, oh, man. All right. Well, I was... I was Can't fault me for trying, at, least, at the very least, here. 62... No, we're not looking at 62 anymore. I'm looking... I'm on floor 63 here. Give me that floor 63 lifestyle. Okay, what else do we got here? This one's surrounded by dust sprites and madness. Two of my favorite things. Okay. What about up here? Dude, this is like the same staircase. It's not the same staircase, though. It's actually there's actually a rock right there that could be that staircase. There's also it's a diagonal right there. It's it's kitty corner with the other staircase. I didn't realize two of them could be that close. That's that's actually useful new information in its own right. 
Not useful enough today, though. All right, well, I think that's everything, so we just got to start mining. Dude, 463. Give him, give, it's giving me some serious floor 17 vibes right now. I don't know if that's foreboding or if that's uh, or if that's accurate intel, but right now it is. Oh wait, it's, I'm I'm dying. Hold on a second. <laughs> don't die. Avoid the six three set. I'm working on. It. I'm doing my best. I promise. Slogan. Slogan is a great word. There are some fantastic words out there. I love a word that can just stand on its own merits. That just, like, sounds good. Oh, jeez, Louise. The 6-3 set. The, the dreaded 6-3 set is upon us. Well, not yet. It's not yet upon us. It's just that floor 63 is... is my Everest, apparently. What is that book? There, There's a book. I, I don't think I ever finished reading it. But I have a very distinct memory of reading part of it as a child. It's it's this thing. It's like the start. It starts with it's like a contest. I don't remember what the contest like is necessarily, but it's like five kids will be picked to go to Mount Everest to like try and climb Mount Everest. It's not like five kids. It's like five young adults, and I'm trying to remember. Is that is there's I, I don't remember what the name of that book is. It might just be like. Everest. It might just be like the word Everest, but I, I distinctly remember this book. That's a series called Everest. Is a series called Everest? How do you make? I mean, I guess I never finished reading the book, so I don't know what it's, what it's all about. But that's kind of wild. Like, why would you want to be picked to, like, go to Mount Everest? Like, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Mount Everest, I guess. That'd be kind of cool. But I'm not about to go climb Mount Everest. Not without some, uh, some serious training. Five or six books, all pretty short. I also have a very distinct memory. I, I read, like, a decent amount of books as a kid. And I have a very distinct memory of... There's this one book, also don't remember the name of it, where a, a kid, I think he discovers, like, a dinosaur egg. And he, like, brings it home, and he, like, raises this dinosaur. And I don't remember, like, the specifics beyond that. It's kind of like E.T., but dinosaur, right? And I just remember sitting on my bed in the night in a nice quiet, uh, quiet room, completely undisturbed by family or friends, and I read, like, a hundred plus pages of that in one night, and I was, like, crying by the end of it. I was, like, so invested in the story, and something happened. I don't remember what, but I was I was very invested in that story, and I was, I was bawling my eyes up by the end of it. I couldn't even, like, go to sleep. It's not Aragon, no. Aragon is, uh, is the dragon. This one's, like, an actual- it's, like, a dinosaur. Used to do that so often as a kid. It's so easy to get like invest in books. I mean, maybe maybe it still is for me. I haven't actually sat down to like read a book properly in a good while, but it's uh maybe I should. Maybe I sh maybe I should to relive that kind of experience. Water horse. I don't know if I'd know the name of the book. Is to be problem to be honest with you. Is there, like, a website where you can, like, look up, like, a vague plot summary <laughs> and get the title of a book? Probably not, huh? That sounds like a lot of work. Sounds like Water Horse. Let me look up Water Horse. Water Horse. I hit my caps lock button at some point, I guess. Wa the Water Horse Legend of the Deep? The Water Horse Legend of the Deep is about a young boy who discovers a mysterious egg to care for, and out of it hatches a water horse. Maybe this is it. It doesn't. It, I'm tell. I feel like I'd recognize the cover if I saw it. And I'm looking at the cover for Water Horse, and it looks like a fun time. But I don't know that this is it. I also don't remember much. In, maybe this is it. Actually, I don't know. I'd have to like go back and look at it again. I guess. It sounds. It's. I mean, this seems to hit all the right notes at the very least, though. My type of book for sure. Ask children's librarian. Is that a is that a YouTuber?
Oh, you're just saying to ask a children's librarian. I thought you were naming someone specifically called children's librarian, and I was like, that sounds like a YouTube channel. <laughs> you're just talking about an actual, like, per like per person who is a librarian for children. <laughs> That's my bad. Saw the movie once. Yeah, that's the first thing that came up when I looked up Water Horses was the movie adaptation. It seems like a movie that could be, like, fun, maybe a little cheesy, and also has bad CGI, probably. Just based on the time that it came out and the budget that it likely had, but I don't know, maybe it was more, uh... Maybe, maybe it was a bigger phenomenon than I, than I think it is, and it was actually good. Who knows? Just go to a library and ask them. I love that libraries are, like, still a thing in the modern day. Libraries seem like an institution that would very easily die out in the wake of, like, the technological revolution that we've been going through for the past, however, like, like couple decades at the very least. But they're still standing strong. I wouldn't have it any other way, because libraries are cozy and nice. I haven't been to one in a long time, so I'm a bit of a hypocrite there, but I, I respect that they are still around and doing their thing. You visit the library at least once a week? That's, I mean, honestly, I, I wish I could be... I wish I could. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could, but... There's, there's a library not too far from where I live. Like, there's a library in the town that I live in. But it's, uh... I just never have, like, I, I always, I mean, I can always make excuses, right? Like, oh, I'm too busy to go to the library, or oh, I don't have anything I want to read, but that's why, kind of why you go to the library, it's to, like, find things to read, right? B boss moment! B underscore boss dot OGG? Swarm time, and not just because of the B boss theme. Chat, what if Haunted Chocolatier finally comes out and you go through like whatever dungeon or whatever where the B boss is gonna be? Like, you can tell like it's leading up to the B boss because there's like B based enemies and you're like going through like a hive of honey and you finally get to the B boss room. You're so excited, you're ready to jam out. And then Concerned Ape has written a new song for the boss fight that's not this. Would you be disappointed? I would probably be mildly disappointed, but I would also be like excited because Concerned Ape's music is always is always top tier. So if he replaced this song with something, it would have to be like it would have to be an absolute like 10 out of 10, like an 11 out of 10. I don't think he ever will, but like I feel like if he released this song like as a standalone because like that's what like that is what he did. Like he he must be very proud of this one above all else, right? I would actually laugh out loud. Act L O L I R L O M G B B Q. He wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think he actually would, but <laughs> but it would be kind of a great troll, honestly. Argon run. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I mean, we're already we're already six resets deep. I mean, this is this we're five resets, but we're about to go into the sixth. But I need I need to get this staircase, man. I, I just need it. I would sue for emotional damage. <laughs> Alright. This is a lot of bats. New Stardew Challenge. How many bats can you spawn on one floor? The answer will, will surprise you. Eric really said, what if B was an 8-bit song? It really does encapsulate the essence of B very well. That is too many bats. It's it's like a few bats. It's a few bats. It's a few too many bats, probably. I would, I would agree. It's at least like two too many bats. Maybe only two, though. Alright, 64-5. Finally acquired. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. It's all we can do. It's what we're here for, right? Six resets deep. This is at least three bats, counting with Argon. 
All right, I didn't pet Pi last time. That's why we had such cursed bat luck. Now Pi has been pet officially, and we can we can move on. I've gotten completely desensitized to a swarm of bats chasing Beatrix. It's like the meme where the room is on fire, but it's just Beatrix sitting in a cave full of bats, and she's like, this is fine. <laughs> I kind of like that. I like that picture. If Concerned Ape and Toby Fox ever collaborated on a game, it would be over. It would be over. There would be no not need for video games. You're right. They would just make the perfect video game. Everyone else would be like, well, pack it in. We had a good run, everybody, but it's there's no going up from here. We've reached peak video game. All right. You reset for freebies. That's how that's how floor 61 goes. But maybe I shouldn't reset for freebies. Maybe that's what's been causing me such such grief. Maybe I need to get an organic staircase. That said, I will take a freebie 100% of the time. One time I fell asleep playing Fallout. When I woke up, I hallucinated the Fallout music for the rest of the day. Yeah, sleep sleeping brains do that sometimes. It's kind of wild. Why didn't I go to floor 65 and reset after that? I don't think there would be a point to go into floor 65, would there? Because I don't need to find a staircase on floor 65 itself. I just need to get a... Uh, I just need to get the path to floor 65. All right, please. We have five maps of Floor 62. One of them has to line up here. Not the first one. I'll tell you that for free. Second one, maybe? Is that... Wait, was it one tile up, or is it... No, I don't think that's a knight's move. Like, do, do, do... No, not quite. All right. Uh, third map. It's in the little nook over there. Not doing it. All right. What about this one? Bro, we're really going to strike out. Five out of five. No, exclamation point optimism. Exclamation point optimism. Ooh, sometimes it pays off. We got a knight's move. We got a knight's move at the bottom of the long diagonal. But the elevator gives five floor increments. But if I reset after the floor, then I wouldn't save that progress. I think there may be a miscommunication going on. There we go. Knight's move actually paid off that time for the first time in forever. All right. Floor 63 me. Ooh, we got a morsel of a freebie. This is actually a very nice floor. This is a very nice floor. Not very few dust sprites. I think there's like maybe one dust sprite and a single freebie. Just waiting for me be. All right, we're looking directly left of staircase here, left of spawn. No luck. But that's okay. We still got other chances. All right. Do we have a freebie? No freebie. This looks like kind of a diabolical floor. I'm not going to lie. Something about this floor gives me very ominous vibes. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, so that's that's the staircase we know of. It's one of the staircases we know of, anyway. I mean, no Knight's Move tech there, for sure. Down there. Ooh, okay. At the end of the long line of the southern strip of, of three. End of the long line of the southern strip of three. What about over there? This is right here. My brain isn't working. That's a knight's move, but it's the knight's move in the wrong direction. Okay, so I was like, I was I was confused for a second. We got one there, but it's cursed by the magnet ring. Okay, so it's cursed by the magnet ring, so we can't use that one. And there's no knight's move tech, so unfortunately that's just a bust. 
What about here, though? Okay. No. Okay, so it's really just this long southern strip of three that we have a chance on. I'm hinging all my bets on this, please. Please, the southern strip of three. Sounds like a riddle you'd be given in, in Dungeons & Dragons. I'm a little scared. There's a lot of dust sprites, and I got... Oh, gosh, I got to navigate the rocky maze. Okay. Please. Please just let me through. Just let me through. Avo avoid the iron ore. Avoid the iron ore. Sneak on through. No! <laughs> I was so confident. All right. Well, we just got to take a chance, then. We gotta take our crazy chance. We gotta do our crazy dance, like Hillary Duff said. Did we get lucky hardwood? We did get some lucky hardwood. Wait, where did 16 experience come from? What up? No! I didn't do that, though! I didn't do that! <laughs> Chat, no! These dust sprites just slam me with 16 experience from across the dang board. Why? Don't you mean Dragons and Dungeons posted three times in a row? <laughs> Bex, are you okay? Dragons and Dungeons doesn't sound that bad. That doesn't sound too bad. I was recovering from a quiche. What did I miss? That's a vibe right there. Dust sprites are mean. You're telling me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing it. I'm living through the dust sprite nightmare. No worries, Bex. I figured there was something weird going on there. I'm going to die here? Karita, why would you put that energy out in the universe? We're, we're seven resets deep. About to be seven resets deep. And you're and you're putting him with these negative vibes? We need, we need positivity right now. Hasn't Beatrix been through enough? She's been in the same... Where did I get 40 experience just now? They must have broken, like, an aquamarine node. Holy moly. We're not dying tonight. I'll tell you that for free. I'm not dying throughout the entirety of this challenge. Not just, like, this one goal, like, getting to the bottom of the mines. Throughout the entire thing. All 565 goals, deathless. Mark my words. These dust... Oh my gosh. They're gonna make me level up. These dust sprites are about to make me level up. For real. What is happening? These are... They're, these are not kind sprites today. Especially this one that's just, like, murking me right now. I hate it. Karita's become jaded. Oh, Karita. We can bring you back. Just because we're in the jade floors. You don't gotta be jaded. If we're gonna reset every every anyway, why, why not kill everything? True, but I don't have a weapon. It's just kind of on brand at this point. I guess I can grab a weapon for next time, just to be on the safe side. Because it would save me some time having to like from having to like eat all the time while I'm and like try to survive finding this st the actual staircase. You know what? Let's not even commit any more time to this. Let's just do that instead. We'll just we'll just bring a weapon. <laughs> These dust sprites about to make me level up. Is a good it's a it's it's a good quote. All right, do we bring the iron edge or the forest sword? Iron edge. Iron edge prob probably honestly. I'll take it. All right. Hopefully this Iron Edge not only will help me, you know, expedite the process if I do need to reset again, but it'll intimidate the rocks into giving me a staircase. We're at that point where we have to intimidate the rocks to, to make progress here, I think. Reality check, by the way. We're two hours into the stream. What have we What have we accomplished? We've um, gotten to floor 60 in the mines from floor 55. You know, sometimes the streams just go like that. Sometimes they just go like that. 
Make an intimidation check. D and D players really do be doing that though. Like I want to, I want to try to intimidate this rock so that it breaks in half and I can get the gems from inside it. Can I make an intimidation check? And the DM's like, sure, whatever. And then they're like, natural twenty, and then the DM has to like rationalize that. <laughs> DMs, let this be your PSA. If it, if it doesn't make sense to you how the roll could succeed, then don't let them roll. Leave the triple shot behind, but it's my lucky triple shot. I see what you mean, though. I should just save the triple shot for expeditions where I know I'm probably going to need speed. I don't know exactly what those are yet, but it is taking up valuable inventory space. I feel you, intensive porpoise. You have a warlock character with 20 per charisma and proficiency in intimidation. She can threaten her way out of most situations. I love that for you. Out of most situations is the thing, though. It sh should never be all situations. You're not about to intimidate a dragon to not breathe fire on you, I don't think. If the dragon wants, wants you dead... I don't think it matters how intimidating you are. I think the dragon is always more intimidating. You must have missed the time where I had luck. Ouch! Look, just because the just because the lucky triple shot hasn't paid off yet doesn't mean it's not lucky. It just means that it's having a bad day. I also haven't actually drank the lucky triple shot. Does that change your mind at all? Is this the difference maker? Is this what we need? Ooh, I'm speedy. I'm she's zooming. Look at this girl. She's zooming. She's zooming through these floors, checking for freebies like it ain't no thing. Big fan of some things being impossible in D&D. I'm with you, for sure. It, it it adds a sense of, you know, not only realism to it, but also, like, stakes, and, uh... And it just makes, it makes the actual victories when you do roll really well in, like, a very tight situation that seems plausible enough that it's, uh... It, it heightens the impact of those, for sure. Better than just being like, I'm going to just try to roll to get out of this situation and hope for the best. And if you happen to roll a 20, then it's like, you know what? Like, you do, you do the impossible. I run, I run sideways up the wall and I'm not even a monk. My 20 acrobatics check. All right. There we go. We got a live run now, folks. We got a live run. We've made it past the floor 61 filter. Floor 62 cometh, behold. Ain't no freebie in sight, though. That's all right. Do our, do our routine checks here. Do our routine checks. We gotta get faster about these checks, honestly. This is not doing it. All right, what about there? Right there, no luck, all right. What about 62-5? 62-5? Do, do, do. Wait. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do, do. Oh. <laughs> I, my brain. My brain is hurting from the knight's moves. It's all right. It's okay. We're going we're gonna to make it. We're going to make it. It's a long time to commit to a series of five floors, but this just means that floors 70... Ooh, sorry, floors uh, 65 to 70 are going to be cake. It's, it's going to be zero problems from floor 65 to 70. We're getting it in, I'm calling it two resets. I'm not confident enough to, to commit to zero resets, and maybe that's going to be my downfall at the end of the day. But at some point, you gotta, you know, you can't, you can't always call zero resets. 
Otherwise, the, when you actually do call real zero resets and mean it, it's going to have less of an impact. All right. Bring me over here. Take me to level 65. Doo, doo, doo. No, okay. What about there? Right there. Do, 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 do. I think we tried that one before, that one spot. And it wasn't, it didn't pan out. So I'm going to go ahead and say no on that one. I'll check it if that's like our only option really, but... Hopefully with the, so many myriad staircases, it's not our only option. Although it's looking not great. Alright, 63-5. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Very sparsely populated floor, I'll tell you that one for sure. Alright, well we're just going to have to try that then. I don't even remember which one it was, to be honest with you. I probably should have double-checked that. It was, no, it was, it was south of this little divot. South of this little dimple right here. Oh, it worked. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll take that one. Wait, is there a rock? There's not a rock right there. That one we would at least know for sh for sure is one, so always good to check. That said, if it was if there was a freebie on this floor, that what might mess it up anyway, so. All right, please. We've been here for so long. It's been 80 years. 64. I've got 5 maps of floor 64. One of them has to be one of them has to be it. Once you have five maps, every map has a 20% chance of paying off. 20 times 5 is 100%, so it's just basic math. You might ask, Argon, where'd you get that 20% figure? It's just, just a hunch. Just a hunch. Alright. This one doesn't pay off. We already know that to be true. What about this guy here? Doesn't look like it. There might be some false Knight's Move tech south of the Frozen Tier. That's a, that's, a, that's a long shot if I ever saw one, though. No luck here, either. Well, actually, do, 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 do. I don't think so. Well, may, maybe here, if it, depending how far that goes. Let me double check that. We're in the weeds right now, so. All right, here. So, do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Maybe. Maybe right there, like a little south of that iron ore. Straight shot from the iron ore down. We got straight shot from the iron ore. We got south of the frozen tier. Neither of them I feel great about, so let's just hopefully get something better. That's not going to be it. This is the same staircase. <laughs> Oops. All right, well... All right, south of the iron ore is probably the one I feel best about, like like straight shot from the iron ore, and then over here. We'll try both of them. Please. Maths. Maths with Argon. Argon geometry. All right, straight shot south of the iron ore. Did not pan out. And this, this one's a Hail Mary, honestly. South of the Frozen Tier. It's false Knight's Move tech. It hasn't even been scientifically peer-reviewed. I don't know if this strategy actually holds any water. But it's about to today. It's about to! Yes! False Knight's Move proven! Oh, and at the, at the best possible time. No dust sprites destroyed me at the end there, did they? Zero. I'm getting out of here. I hear dust sprites. Zero mining experience. Zero combat experience. And I tore out my mic, mic cord in excitement. Sorry if that made like a horrible sound. <laughs> I accidentally... Oh boy. That was... That, that was what, seven resets deep? That, that I felt all, every one of those seven resets, dude. Literal mic drop. <laughs> Rip headphone cord. Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean... <laughs> oh, man. Floor 65. We have officially arrived. We have officially arrived. Let's lock that one in. I'm gonna go do my... Uh, do my garbage run. Dude, it was it was the triple shot. It was the triple shot. I drank the chip triple shot. And it actually worked. 
I told you it was lucky. Did I get any hardwood? I didn't even check the crates and barrels on floor 64, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I was so excited and I didn't want dust sprites to ruin it that I just I just had to get out of there. So no hardwood acquired. We did get some sap, which is, you know, hardwood adjacent. Hardwood and spirit. And it's debris day. I completely forgot about debris day. Thank you. We are still here. <laughs> we finally made it past the 465 threshold. Um, I'm going to get rid of this coal for the bread. Said no one ever. What's different from this 65 versus the last 65? Because on the previous iterations of Floor 65, we had gotten either mining, well, just mining experience at some point. And we want to get down with as little mining experience as possible, ideally zero. That's why we're resetting for, for floors in the first place. That's why we reset it all, is if we make it down Floor 65, then if we have combat, if we have experience, then it doesn't matter because like we don't want to keep that experience. So we have to reset. But getting down to floor 65 at all and acquiring information about the staircases that lead us there is uh, is the name of the game. False Knight's move is... It's three over and one up, yeah. In Sudoku circles, I believe that's called a... A, <laughs> a tiger bounce? Or is that a tigger bounce? A tigger bounce? Like from Winnie the Pooh? Yo, I'm here for that. No worries, Lisa. I hope it makes some modicum of sense. I know it's, you know, it's not the most intuitive thing in the world. <laughs> Everything I'm doing in the mines is definitely not very intuitive, but it is, uh, it does make sense at the end of the day, if you don't think about it too hard. Alright. Bread, frozen tear. That's good. And now we get debris day. Please spam your favorite, uh, well, don't spam, but, you know, post your favorite debris-based emojis. Look, look through your emojis and you find one that evokes the feeling of debris to you, whatever that might be, whatever that word means. And post it, because we celebrate debris around here. This is this is the day where debris gets a chance to shine. T-I double g er, that spells Tigger. <laughs> oh, I wish I I need to go like listen. I Tigger has such a distinct voice, but I can't picture it in my head right now. It's also a voice that, like, I probably wouldn't even be able to do. I don't want to do a, a disservice to Tigger. He's the best Winnie the Pooh character, bar none, so I, I definitely don't want to disservice him. Look at all those debris. Look at all that debris in chat. Beatrix is coming to clear that debris. She's got her scythe in hand. Scythe in one hand, axe in the other. Beatrix comes at you looking like this. What do you do? Swinging her scythe, chopping her axe. Level zero foraging. I don't know. I'd probably cry, honestly. If, if, if it were me, if, that were, if this tree were me right now, I'd be crying. I feel like I'm a little loopier than usual today. I I'm, I often, you know, go off on, like, little weird tangents from time to time. And everything I say doesn't always make sense. But today, I feel like especially... Especially... I, I, I wanted to say a word, but I don't know if, what the word actually means. I think, it me I think it's an okay word to say, but I'm not going to say it just in case. Because I don't want to be offensive and get cancelled. Mostly don't want to be offensive. The cancellation part is, is less important. Dude... It's the first, it's the first blocked off wood. We just cannot get that wood at all, huh? There's just no way to get that piece of wood right there. That's the, it's, it's cursed debris. It's illegal debris. I would like to re reiterate my previous main point of debris just sounding like you're saying debris and I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Bree. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's pretty funny though. Dub, dub, re. The other word I could use is detritus. But I feel like detritus is more man-made stuff. Debris is not necessarily man-made. 
Immuna debris. <laughs> Like, am I wrong in that? Does Which one sounds more natural, chat? Which one sounds like it's more from nature? Is it debris or is it detritus? Is that another... I can't get that wood either, can I? There are diagonals, though. We could use a little bit of chair tech for the first time to get that, to get that debris right there. How I feel when someone says chase instead of... In, as in, like, running. <laughs> Also, how I feel whenever someone says, like, exactly, the, like, they ex ex emphasize the, the middle part of exactly, because my name is Zach in, like, real life. So if someone's like, exactly, then I'll be like, what? Is that my name? Detritus sound is more man-made and smaller than debris. So my hunch was correct. Yeah, detritus is definitely smaller than debris, just in my brain, even though it's a longer word, so it shouldn't really make sense, but it's the way it be sometimes. Is that another illegal debris? I hate it. The stones are starting to, to rebel. They're starting to form their own, like, little, little stone army here, and blocking me off from being, making my farm... The debris fee, the debris free world that I know it can be. Okay. This has been a lot of debris, and there's still more. There's still more hiding amongst the trees. But what will I do once the farm is full of stone? Welcome in, Charlo J, by the way. Um,. We're gonna cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> Once the farm is full of stone, I mean, I can always. This is why we're saving mining experience, right? Is so that if we do have to mine through some stones every now and again, we have the experience to do so. All right, I think that's all the debris that I can access cleared off. Shout if you see any other debris. You have to shout really loud, though, because like, you probably live pretty far away from me, so I won't be able to hear. But if you shout loud enough, I will hear. All right, I think we're good, though. Dude, there are some monsters out here that I wouldn't mind killing, though, so let me go grab my, my weapon. somebody chats a sentence that has a word that ends with G and the next word starts with G, then it highlights it for you, GG. Oh, man. YouTube's parsing system needs some work, I think. Um, I'm trying to think. Can, I, can everyone uh, type dog gum in chat? Dog space gum to... Uh, is, will this highlight for for GG? <laughs> I'm curious now. I mean, it won't highlight for me, so you're just gonna have to let me know. But just just type dog gum. I don't know why dog gum is the thing that came to mind first, but <laughs> there you go. Get some dog gum in chat. Dog gum. Does it work? Does it work, G? <laughs> Does it work? Are you being flooded by highlights right now? Dog gum. Anyone else feed their dog gum? Don't teed your dog gum, pop. probably, by the way. <laughs> I would not recommend it. Dog gun? That's a, that's a different thing. Alright, I know I saw some slimes and stuff around here, too. I don't remember exactly where, though. I think there was one, like, way over here, right? Ooh, little debris. I heard someone shout. Does one, two, three Argon Matrix one, two, three work? I can confirm. There's a little orange highlight around Argon Matrix. Argon Matrix is a little. It's a. It's a. You're a little less likely to type it accidentally. So I don't see the highlights all that often unless someone's actually trying to get my attention. Which doesn't even happen that often because usually chat's like quiet enough that I can see most messages anyway. 
it would only highlight for GG. Yeah, people might be missing the point there. It shouldn't... Oh my, could you imagine, though, if every chatter's name was highlighted for every other chatter? Nothing would ever get done. Thank you for the highlight. All right. Off to bed. Good night, Pi. Did I pet Pi? I didn't pet Pi. Pi me out. All right. Debris day. Another one in the books. 210 gold. Two and a half hours in, we've made it through like two days. <laughs> Will we make it through a third? That depends. What's our luck look like? Not looking great, so we're not headed to the mines at least. Although maybe I should head to the mines for a little bit of hardwood grinding. Dude, the debris is already starting to come back. I'm telling you, summer is, is very debrisful. Frozen tears are so cheap. I know, I wish they sold for more. They're so pretty. We should chase our goal of befriending the dwarf. I see what you did there. <laughs> I was going to go water pie, but then I realized that I don't have the watering can. Unfortunate. Yeah, it has to be the whole, whole display name. It has to be, like, your entire name. I think it's probably case sensitive. Well, I don't think it is case sensitive, actually, is it? I feel like I've seen Argon Matrix, like, all lowercase also be highlighted, but maybe I'm just making things up. Music wants me to music making me want to stop and play some Prairie King. It's been a hot minute since I've played any Prairie King. I can't even play Prairie King though, because what if I get Fector's challenge, complete by mistake? That's it's against the rules of the challenge, so we can't do it. We can't even try. I guess I could, like, I could play Prairie King, and if I just didn't die up until Fector, then I just like like run face first into Fector to make sure I don't complete the challenge. <laughs> That would be kind of hilarious, but tragic at the same time. Trying to summon me like Beetlejuice. I mean, it's working. They're all highlighted. What's that one song from the Beetlejuice musical? By the way, did you know there's a Beetlejuice musical? What on earth? That's so cool. There's one like animatic that was, was that it's got like 10 million plus views, so it's pretty popular. And it's I think it's for it's Say My Name, that song. That's a that's a banger of a song and an even bigger banger of an animatic. I love it. Love it to bits. Something that can happen mistakenly. I'm clearly playing it wrong. I mean, if you just, you could, there's at least one person out there who got Fector Challenge without knowing that Fector Challenge is a thing that you can get. They just, like, played Prairie King a few times, they happened to get lucky, or they're just, like, insanely good at those types of games. They got all the way to Fector and beat him without dying, and they're just like, oh, achievement, cool. That was easy. Anyway, my blueberries. You love Beetlejuice the musical? I haven't actually seen the musical. I know, like, two songs from it, but... Those two songs are bangers, for sure. Little lost book for me. Little clay for you. And off to the mines we go. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Because you're so smart. Stand up, bro. I'll think about your offer. Let you know. But I prefer my chances down below. I gotta be careful, because I can just start singing that song, but I think there's some, like, non-PG-13 stuff in that song, so if I just start singing, I might accidentally stumble into one of those, those PG-13 traps. Gotta be scared. Stay scared. Stay vigilant.
If there's a video game within a video game, you bet your you bet your bippy I'm spending more time on that. I love that turn of phrase. Number one chase, 100% agree. Like the little like Pico 8 machine in Celeste. I absolutely spent more time on that than I should have. Number two, bippy, great word. 10 out of 10 word, underutilized. Has, has a lot of potential use cases. You love Repo the Musical? But it's very not PG. Many musicals are not PG. I think a lot of the musicals that I like are not, uh, are, are very not PG. Not PG-13. Hamilton's not even, like, really PG-13, is it? Is it, like, I don't know what the actual official rating on Hamilton is. Maybe it's PG-13, I don't know. But, but I know Heathers would not be. Six, the musical, I don't think would be. I don't know enough about Dear Evan Hansen. That's probably fine, but... It's not a musical that I'm very well acquainted with, so it doesn't really count. I could, in theory, say one F word per stream. That's just not my vibe, though. I don't even say the F word in, like, real life most of the time. Every so often. But, you know. I'm starting to think that floor 41 is not the floor for me. Hamilton doesn't meet the Argon PG-13 definition. I don't know what the official definition of PG-13 is. Is it is it really, like, one F-bomb per, like, runtime? Like, if you have, like, one F-bomb in your movie, then you're, like, good to go. But any more than that, and you're, you're bumped up to, like, 14A or something? Does that count as a reset? I mean, in the grand scheme of the challenge, yes, absolutely. But as far as, like, resetting to get to, like, a specific floor, nah. Which is mainly where we're counting resets, but... I will count resets probably, like, in the actual edited versions of these videos. Dear Evan Hansen is probably not PG-13. Really? I don't know enough about it. I, I, I know, like, the general story. I've watched the, uh... I've watched both the Jenny Nicholson video on it and the Sarah Zed video on it. I'm trying to think of what's not PG-13 in that. I mean, you know what, I guess there's like, yeah, there's some subject matter in there, that's that's very fair, yeah. I didn't even think about it, like, like the main crux of the story, right? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, you know. Isn't PG-13 specifically a movie rating? It might be, yeah. Sincerely, me, the song. Don't know enough, don't know the lyrics to that one. Hey, stop that yuck. Is that what you say when you look in the mirror, Alex? That doesn't make any sense at all, and I just feel bad. I just feel like I was mean now <laughs> for no reason. I just hate people tr trashing on my trash vibe, you know? Yeah, that's the one. That's, that's the theme that we don't want to probably talk about. <laughs> The UK equivalent rating system, intent and violence behind the bad language also matters, so it's not just the word, but how you use it. I need to actually, like, look into the, uh, into the rating system to know for sure. I use the term often enough, PG-13, I should probably, like, know what it means, but it's just, like, in my own, like... In, in my own personal world, it just means basically, you know, like, not swearing, but also you can have some, you know, casual innuendo thrown in there. Just, like, just references to, to things that are, you know, beyond the purview of what you would normally expect. We're going 421. 421 has been more kind to me. I, I know there's chances for Jade and stuff on 441, and I know there's chances for refined quartz and all that, but to that own self be true. I gotta, I gotta go floor, back to 21 here.
I think there's a difference between using a word as a swear versus the actual definition. So, like, if you were to use, like... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm probably not even going to go down that. <laughs> I was going to start trying to, like, think of an example, and I'm like, you know, probably best to just, like, stray away from that one. I don't know. I just don't find, like... Like, most swear words, like, they have... Yes, they have definitions, but, like... Other words also have those definitions and aren't seen in a more, like, derisive, derogatory light like swear words often are, so I just, I just like, use those words instead. Like, ah, oh, poopy. <laughs> like shouting sugar, co sugar cones when you're upset, exactly. Ah, oh, sugar cones. PG-13 is actually pretty lenient, just looked it up. Me, Q, me, looking left, looking right, making sure no one's watching. Ass. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> that is a bump up my, my stream. I'm just, I'm demonetized. No, no. It's all falling apart around me. I didn't think anyone was listening. No. <laughs> No! <laughs> the world crumbles. He said donkey. <laughs> Demonetized. No! I was, yeah, I was just referring to a donkey, chat. I was just referring to a donkey. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. I'm sorry, I did not mean to... I did not mean to ruin anyone's innocence there. I hope we're all still good. Does this mean we can say it in chat? Now, I'd rather not. You know, I mean, it's it's like one of the more mild swear words for sure, but I'd rather just, you know, keep it keep it clean as possible. For the for the occasional one-off joke like that, you know, <laughs> I, think, I think we're all right, but... If Shrek could say it, it's PG-13. Fair point. Ooh. A little earth crystal, don't mind if I do. You know, I've said before that, like, you know, we shouldn't expect to get hardwood. Our default setting should be zero hardwood. For like a single day in isolation, but we've spent enough days and enough time doing this. You would expect like you know, maybe like one hardwood. Gee, thanks for the, just the like regular wood, I guess. It's a step in the right direction. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna berate it too much, but you really you gotta you gotta extend me an olive branch here at some point, game. An olive branch made of mahogany wood, preferably. That doesn't make sense, I know, because like the olive branch is made of like olive wood. Wait, is olive wood a thing? Like, an olive tree has to be a thing, right? Because it's an olive branch. Although, I guess bushes can have branches. Do olives grow on a tree? I, I'm just, like, trying... I'm trying to piece this together. I just said olive branch, and all of a sudden, my mind's going all sorts of different places. Olive wood is a thing. Is olive wood olive? Is it, like, the color of olives? And they grow on trees. Okay. Uh, that's right, because there was the there was the guy who was like on death row. I don't want his name. I, I don't I don't I don't know his name, nor do I really care to. But he like they asked him like, all right, what's your last meal gonna be? And he's like, I would like a single olive, please, because he wanted it to like he wanted the pit of the olive to like germinate in his stomach once he was buried and like grow into an olive tree. I don't think that's how it would actually work in real life, but I mean it's. It's a poetic thought, at the very least. I remember that story now. And that's how I learned olives grow on trees. What are we getting rid of here? We're getting rid of the stone, first and foremost, I think. Um, honestly, I could get rid of the cave carrots. I don't really care too much about the cave carrots. I just want the amethyst more than anything. My friend literally just brought me a frog made of olive wood from Greece. Yo, that's exciting. That's a, that's a cool little collect, collectible. A little souvenir. 
I wish I back when I we went to like Hawaii. My family and I went on a trip to Hawaii back in like 2002, 2003, around that kind of time. And when we were there, I remember getting like we bought I bought like a bunch of a uh, bunch of little like tiki's, like a bunch of little tiki figurines. Like a few different ones. They all had like little tags on them. They're like, oh, this represents like the the god of wealth. This one represents like the goddess of fertility and all that sort of stuff. And it was very cool. I was I, I really like the tiki aesthetic. I don't know where they are now though. I do have a large tiki mask. That's the only piece of tiki related paraphernalia that I still own, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where the rest of the tiki's went. They must have got like lost in a move at some point, which is a little upsetting. Should have taken better, better, better care of my tiki's. When you lived in Phoenix, there were olive trees planted in the neighborhood. Ooh, it's like a fancier version of like the crab apple trees that were planted in the place where I was growing up. You just pick a crab apple off the tree and eat it. Why are they called crab apples? I, I don't think I've ever seen a crab eating one, nor in, like, the vicinity of one. But what makes a crab apple a crab apple, and not, like, just, like, a sour apple that tastes bad? It tastes, like, way too sour and way too mealy. You love crab apples? They're not for me. Maybe I've only ever eaten, like, unripe crab apples, but... Tastes like crab? I don't know what kind of crabs you're eating, but uh, you can keep them, as far as I'm concerned. So you can't eat olives off a tree that you get pickled first for eating? I didn't know that, actually. Mostly because I don't eat olives because they taste bad, but... I didn't know that they were, like, always pickled or, like, had to be pickled because they look crabby. Can't argue with that. Crabby as in grumpy tasting. <laughs> Why aren't they called grumpy apples then? I think that would add, lend them so much more character. Grump apples. If you had to take a guess, how many varieties of apple do you think exist? How many, how many types of apple are there in the world? What the? Get out of my way, please. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say roughly 200 varieties of apples. It might be a lot more than that. I might be, like, lowballing it, but... 532? That's awfully specific. Pelinar, are you an apple farmer? Probably hundreds. Two, yeah, 200? I wasn't sure. I was. It might have been, like, way lowballing it. It might be in, like, the thousands, honestly. 183? I mean, we can't just leave this, this question unanswered. Google? Wait, hold on. Hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. How many different types of apples are there? Some results I found: Honey Crisp, Macintosh, Cosmic Crisp, Here we crisp go. Pink, Rayburn, Cooking Apple, Ambrosia, Bramley, Jazz, and Cider Apple. No, keep listing them. Keep listing them, please. <laughs> View all. There's so many. Cox's Orange Pippin. That's my favorite apple. Jonah Gold, Jonathan, Kanzi, Opal. There's so many apples. Images from Wikipedia. This doesn't answer the question, though, Siri. Hold on. How many types of apples are there? Perfect. 2,500 are grown in the United States. 7,500 varieties of apples are grown throughout the world. What the heck? <laughs> what do you talk? 7,500? How do you name them all after that? Why are there so many apples? I made your Siri search too. <laughs> There's too many apples. 
If I was okay if it was going to be like, you know, 500 to 1,000 varieties of apples. 7,500 apples? Now you're just getting greedy, honestly. That's just, ex that's excessive apple cultures. And they're probably still like making new ones is the, is the thing too. Like they're like, we don't have enough apples yet. Like, do you think if you ate every, like, you ate, like, a slice of, every, of like, 7,500 apple slices, all of them from a different variety of apple? Do you think you'd be able to tell the difference between most of them? Probably not. Like, I don't doubt that there's, like, a few, like, hundred distinct apple flavors, but, like, anything beyond that, and you're just, like, you just want an apple breed named after you, honestly. Ox's Orange Pippin Apple. Gotta love apple genetics. You get an achievement ding above your head if you do that. It's like in Minecraft. What's the Minecraft achievement? Sorry, the Minecraft advancement for uh for eating all types of food. Have you guys ever seen like an all advancement speed run of Minecraft? Where you get, like, every single advancement, a.k.a. achievement in the game. I've never actually sat down and watched one, but I watched that small ant video where he, like, explains it as it's going on. And it was, like, it, it blew me away. The amount of stuff you have to do in that run. Also, like, the amount of achievements that exist in Minecraft now. It boggles the mind. Last time I played Minecraft, there were, like, ten achievements. It was like, get diamond armor. You're good to go. I don't even think that's an achievement, honestly. But Yo, hardwood! The first hardwood! The hardwood drought is over! Yes! Seven hardwood! Can we get some sevens in chat? Not for the lurkers this time, amazingly enough, but for just... Just hardwood. The hardwood drought has, has finally stopped. Oh my gosh. Seven hardwood. Se the seventh hardwood has arrived. Can we make it eight? Can we make it eight? The beautiful thing now is that that spot, wherever it might have been over there, if we get another crater barrel on that spot today, it will be another hardwood guaranteed. There might still be other hardwood to be found elsewise, but we got to check that wall forever now until until the end of the day. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. I think my heart rate like doubled when I saw that piece of hardwood. I was like, oh my gosh, it's fine finally. It's like it's literally like that felt like finding a prismatic shard. <laughs> Just like a random prismatic shard drop from a monster. This is this is the, the life we're living now. Chat, is that is that hardwood? That might be the hardwood rock. Not the hardwood rock or the hardwood hardwood barrel. It's gotta be like one up or one down from that. Oh my gosh, the hardwood tile. I have to get more. I have to get more. I need I need at least one more, please. If you could grant me this one wish. A single hardwood more. There's definitely an advancement for eating everything edible. That includes poisonous potatoes and raw chicken. That is one of the advancements, I know that, because they like, like were like eating random stuff. In like the the sheet. Like rotten flesh is another wood, like yeah, spider eyes and stuff. Anything that you can actually like physically eat. What if there was an achievement like that in Stardew to eat everything that is like physically eat edible? You'd have to eat every- you'd have to eat your legendary fish. <laughs> I'm kind of here for that, honestly. I think if that were the case, they would, the, the Concerned Ape would hopefully at least make the legendary fish, you know, you could catch them more than once. But that would be funny if he just kept it up that way. New challenge, the Gourmand challenge. Eat one of everything edible. I'm trying to think if that would be, like, how hard that would even be. It would take a while, for sure. You have to get to, like... I mean, you have to go through most of the game, realistically. I'm trying to think, what, what's the hardest thing to get that's edible? 
in Stardew Valley. It's got it might be it might be like the legendary fish, honestly. Assert dominance, exactly. Just like Blade. Could add that to this challenge. There's the goal to eat everything edible. Probably not. <laughs> this challenge is mostly geared towards perfection with a few little sprinkles of other things in there. Would include all seven star drops too. True. But those are those are easy enough to come by if you're if you're going for it. You want to know why you can't eat coconuts in Stardew Valley? Have you ever tried eating a whole coconut with, like, the shell? I don't think you're going to enjoy your experience is all I'm going to say. You also can't eat a pumpkin, so... <laughs> I don't think we're getting another piece of hardwood. I hate to say it. Exclamation point optimism as always, but we don't have much time left in the day here. Still, one hardwood? It's its much higher than our average rate of hardwood for, for this stream so far, that's for sure. Not the lava eel incident. I will I will I'll eat the I'll eat the next lava eel I get too. I don't care. It's kind of my thing now. Well, it's, it's, it's Chloe's thing. I think Beatrix has to find her own thing. She has to carve out her own niche. She can't just go eat in lava eels because the people are like, Come on, Bart, do the thing. Uh, and eats, he eats the lava eel at that point. I can't really vocalize that through words, so. That is a great meme, though. It's a great meme format. The Bart, Bart say the thing. Did Legend ever get eaten in the Price of Perfection? I don't think so, no. Beatrix eats the hardwood. Are Chloe and Beatrix related? Undecided? The lore hasn't been uh, expanded enough yet. We don't know if there's a relation or if uh, Beatrix is merely inspired. That's Clay. We don't really care about that. I remember we got that last time when we had to reset after the dust spread incident of 2023. All, all fish, all food might just have to include every fish pond. Every, yeah, you're right. You know what? Every piece of roe, an aged roe, as well as every type of wine and, and juice. I'll have to consult the algorithm on that. Exclamation point algo. All right. Sell the earth crystals. Sell the amethyst. Don't sell the wood. Sell the quartz. Sell the geode. Don't sell the hardwood. That's for darn sure. If there's one thing you should not do is sell the hardwood. I don't even know how much hardwood sells for. It's probably like a, a decent amount as far as like wood goes. Welcome back, Atlas. We did get a piece of hardwood in your absence, but that's okay. $800! That's not a bad day at all. I think we know what the next challenge will be. I don't know, man. By the time this challenge is over, we might just have Haunted Chocolatier challenges to look forward to. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Is that... That's Gold Pyramid, right? There's, I see three blinking pixels. I think that's the pixels of the slant of the pyramid. Quick double check. Yeah, there you go. Alright, chat. Three hours in. I'm willing to give it a college try here. We're going for floor 70. Wait, it is floor 70, right? We're at floor 65? Yeah, we are. Okay. Who's sending me mail? Tomorrow we're gathering at the beach for the luau. I don't even... I, I don't know anybody in town. I will be going to this luau, but I won't be uh, happy about it, nor will I be contributing to this soup. Spa time, spa time. Please have some spa time. You know what? I'm down for some spa time. Maybe it'll get us in the right sort of mindset for this uh, for this upcoming grind to floor 70 here. It's been a little while since since uh, the spa time. Why go to the luau? Uh, because we have to buy a star fruit. 
from Pierre because it's the only means of us getting a star fruit without mine without uh, farming it ourselves. And if we need to get a Junimo hut at a certain point, which we may need to depending on the goals that we get, then it's um that's that's the way to go about it cuz you need 9 star fruit for a Junimo hut. That is my rationale to go to the Luau every year for 9 years in a row. All right. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to Get this, get this song out of here. It's an okay song, but it's not the song we need right now. All right, let's get, let's actually get into the, into the spa here first. Ready ourselves. There we go. Nice, calm. Soothing. Now chat. I know it's been a very, you know, very stressful time in the mines for us, trying to just make it through five floors at a time. It's not always the easiest thing in the world. But the important thing is that we're doing it together. We're doing it together and if we're together, we can do anything. Never forget that, that we're all friends here. We're all gathered under the same cozy little umbrella, this lovely little farming game that we're making harder than it has any right to be, but we're doing it as a community, as a group, and we're experiencing it all together. And that makes it something more than the sum of its parts. Sure, I could use like the predictor and try and get down to the five floors in the mines that way. It would be faster. We'd be we'd be done by now. We'd be at the bottom of the mines already. Moved on to the next thing, but we lose something in that. We lose the experience, of actually getting to progress together. Those beautiful little nuggets of joy and excitement and ecstasy when we make it those five floors down together. That's what this challenge is about. It's not about actually making the progress. It's about the journey that we get to have along the way and the memories that we get to make memes we get to enjoy and the company that we get to partake and it's a beautiful thing it really is and I wouldn't have it any other way and I can't think of any better people to share it with than you I hope you enjoyed your spa time Hold on, I gotta turn down the music. I turn I turned it up a little bit during that, because I, I I I like that song quite a bit. Dang it, I'm experiencing emotion. No, thank you, thank you. Beatrix just spent three hours in that spa. Alright. When's the stream ending tonight? Hard to say. It might be after we make it to floor 70, depending on how many resets this takes. I don't have like a I don't have like a schedule that I have to keep today. Or at least all the things that were scheduled were before the stream, so we're good. So I can keep going a little later than usual if I need to. I'd like to make it to at least floor 70, and if we make it in a in a nice timely fashion, speaking of, let me get that poll going for the zero reset believers. Start a poll then maybe we can keep going after that, but 470 might be the end, just depending on the time. Alright. How many resets for floor 70? 7 zero without any experience. We're going to mix it up a little this time. Zero resets is a classic. Next bracket, one to three resets. Next bracket, four to six resets. Final bracket, seven to nine resets. We're mixing it up a little bit, because we it's very rare that we go beyond even, like... Like, I think the max we've had, other than that floor, like, 15 to 20 fiasco, is, like, probably seven. Four to six? 57% of people are believing in the four to six? Okay, it's going down a little bit, but it's still a majority, though. Zero reset, gang, rise up, exclamation point optimism. Let's do this. Gertrude? 
Thank you for your support. All right, let's go. Uh, there's not going to be any freebies on this floor. We know that to be true. This is this is a hard one. Floor 65, we don't get any freebies because that's just how these multiple floors work. So we just have to mine and hope. Yo! Right next to the elevator. That's a really good one. That's a really good one. That fills me with determination. As as some, some wise soul once said, you are filled with determination. 65-1. That was that's a hard one. That's a hard mental barrier to get past. Can we make it happen again here? Give me a freebie. I'm feeling I'm feeling a freebie on this one. My feeling was a little bit misplaced, I, I regret to inform you. Yo, I hope it all goes well for you, Nico. Tomorrow. That's, that's some very 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 adult stuff. Not like adult is in like non PG thirteen, but adult is in like responsibilities and stuff. Like we be adulting. All right, get get away from these these dust sprites. They're bad luck. They're bad news. There we go. Now we can mine in peace with our little slime friend off to the side there. That's fine. Yes, lots of good vibes for Nico, for sure. It's a very important sort of thing. Adulting. Speaking of adulting, hey, tax season, am I right? <laughs> no! No! We got the staircase, but at what cost? At what cost? <laughs> Alright, wait, I gotta I gotta mark this. I gotta mark it as uh as cursed. Hold on. Get cursed. Get cursed by the magnet ring of doom. And now we take that screenshot. My zero reset friends, I'm I'm so sorry to have disappointed you. 466-1. You know what they say. I got my kicks out on Route 66. Every truck stop from Butte to MO. From Motown to old Alabama. From Texarkana and east of Savannah, from Tampa to Old Kokomo. Worthless. Anyone else? Brave little toaster fan or just me? Ooh, that's a good one. We're getting lots that are like nice and close to the ladder, at least, on this stretch. By lots, I mean two out of three ain't bad. 67-1. <laughs> How did Taylor Swift do this to us? I feel like I missed something. I was typing Taylor Swift lyrics when it happened. I am now caught up. Taylor Swift makes some good music. I don't know if I if I self-identify as a Swifty, but I can definitely get behind her her songs. Many of her songs, anyway. I don't know about all of her songs. I don't think I've listened to her entire oeuvre, but I'm just, I'm just saying, Antihero is kind of a banger. What's the cursed staircase lore? Cursed staircases, which we demarcate with in the screenshot with a magnet ring, um, are staircases that exist on the same tile as a as an ore spawn or like a piece of coal, something that gives us experience when we break the rock open. So while we can get a staircase from that rock, we will also always get experience from it because just as the staircases are seated like that, so are the ore spawns. But we still use that information and take those screenshots and save them because we could use night move strategies to make it a little bit further down if we get a, something that's a knight's move away from that one. Hopefully that makes sense. Brave Little Toaster was a crucial part of your childhood. It was for me too, but I honestly couldn't tell you the plot of the movie any anymore. I feel like it's kind of got Toy Story vibes, but also it's like its own thing for sure. Aren't there, there, there are multiple Brave Little Toaster movies, right? I think I only know the first one. And maybe I know of the existence of the Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars. 
some somehow that exists in my brain. I don't know if that's something I made up or if that's an actual thing that exists. That might have been something that someone in chat said at one point, actually. Have a good night there, Karita. Thanks for hanging out. It's been a pleasure as always. That's the Brave Little Toaster 3, is that one? You know what? I just realized why I know that. Why I know the Brave Little Toaster goes to Mars. <laughs> and it's going to be kind of embarrassing, but also maybe wholesome. It's because as a child, in my formative years, when I first, uh, I first learned the magic of writing and I, I fell in love with the craft, um... My, the very first stories that I ever wrote were the adventures of myself and my cat, Oreo. One of the, It wasn't really my cat, it was like a family cat, but I loved them. Because how can you not love a cat in general? And the, and the, I believe the third story in that anthology of stories was like Oreo goes to Mars or something, and it was inspired by the fact that the Brave Little Toaster went to Mars, because, you know, you just gotta, you gotta steal some inspiration from somewhere, I guess. Which daily screenshot mod do I use? It's the one called Daily Screenshot. Hope this helps. <laughs> Uh, I can link it in the Discord, though, if you can't find it. It should just be, like, Stardew Daily Screenshot mod on Nexus or something. You know, I think I actually still have... Yeah, you know what? I totally... I don't have all the stories that I wrote, but the very first story that I wrote is, um... I still have it saved. On I, Well, I don't have... I, I, like, wrote it back in, like, when... I wrote it in, like, Microsoft Word, and I printed it off. It's, like, a nine-page long story about me and my cat, Oreo. And I remember printing it off and like stapling it together and giving it out to like family and friends because I was so proud of it. I'm sure it doesn't really hold up that well today, but I do remember that I found it one year and I was like, I want to save this. So I, I transcribed it, typos and all, into a, uh, into a Google document. And I still have that in my Google Drive, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I have it. It's called Oreo and the Fangs of Doom. Based on true events. Maybe one day we'll have story time. I don't know. That could be fun. Alright. 68-1 finally acquired. Welcome to floor 69, baby. Your first story was about Pokemon. That's a, that's a good inspiration. I would need to go and read the story again to make sure the story doesn't dox me, though. Because it might have, like, it might have location-based information. I don't think it does. Your longest story was 13 pages. That's a good amount of pages. And it also, I mean, I guess it depends on the size of the font and stuff, but... Your longest story is literally 300 pages. You've written a novel, Bree? Is it is it public? Is it is it publicized? Or is it just just for you? I can understand it either way or maybe it's maybe it's somewhere in between. That's a lot of pages though. The actual longest piece of fiction that I've written is I'm pretty sure one of my fanfics from back when I I used to write those on a more frequent basis. I never finished the story, but I'm pretty sure I got to, like, around 45,000-ish words, something like that. So it got pretty long, but I never actually finished the story. I still have, like, the outline for how the story would go, but never saw it through for a variety of reasons. I gotta get back into writing. One day I do want to, like... Because I'm a storyteller at heart. Read us one of your fanfics. You can go read them yourself. You could just, like, Google Argon Matrix fanfic, probably. And, uh, you'll probably find it. The ChatGPT fanfic. 
Yeah, I'm a storyteller at heart, and one day I would, but I'm also like a gamer, and I like coding and stuff, and I think one day it could be fun to like marry all those passions and, uh, and try to make my own game. I don't know how big of a game it would be, but I've definitely, I definitely, I've, da I've dabbled in the past, and I think I could do it if I really set my mind to it. There's one like, and there's one story that I would really like to tell. I think it's a good story, and it could be nice, and I could probably gamify it in a certain way. I found it. Yeah, it's, it's, I told you, it's not hard. One Google search will probably get you there. They're bad, by the way. Well, I shouldn't say that all my fanfics are bad. There are some that I kind of still stand by. But a lot of them were written when I was very young. Or younger than I am now, at the very least. I'm not judging, but why is it all My Little Pony? Because that was the fan fandom I was in. It was the only one that I was inspired enough by to uh, actually write fanfiction for. Never written fanfiction otherwise. Alright. Lore 69-1. That's pretty nice. So we've, we have maps of every floor now. We have, we have a line. In theory, we have a line. Let's make it happen now. Floor 70 incoming. One reset deep. Would I, would I read something called The Date? I mean, I would read probably, I'd have to, I don't think I could decide whether I would read something based on the title alone. I probably need like a short synopsis. Well, not a synopsis, but like a blurb, you know? It ends with possible smoochings. I mean, I'm not opposed to smoochings. We made a couple hundred K plus fanfics. Holy. I really do think... I fully believe that fan that writing fanfiction is a great sort of stepping stone to becoming a published author one day. Like, if you're really passionate about it... A lot of people will write fanfiction. I would, in fact, I would hazard a guess that the majority of people who write fanfiction just write it as, like... They're, like, in a phase where they're, they're really passionate about uh, a fandom that they're in and they want to tell a story. But there are people out there who, like, commit to it and write, like, like yourself, uh, L, who write uh, 100k plus fanfiction, like 100,000 words or, or even more, like millions of words in some cases. Or And some people who write, like, so many different kinds of stories. And it's very, it's very cool to see, and you do get a lot of practice out of it. It doesn't always that practice doesn't always translate one to one into writing original fiction, but it's uh, it's better than nothing, that's for sure. Stopped writing fiction before you ever heard the term fan fiction. I wonder when the term fan fiction first like was used in like widespread culture. I don't know. Well, I don't know if I don't know if even today it's used in widespread culture. I don't think I could say say, "Mom, do you want to read my fan fiction?" And she'd probably have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> also, that'd be cringe. So. All right, right next to the staircase, directly right of the staircase, we actually do have one here. Right of the elevator, I should say. Yeah, yeet. Perfect, all right. Great start, great start. You could have a writer's group in the Discord. If there's enough, like, people who are interested in that, I'd be... I'd, I'd, we could definitely put one together. Ooh! Chat, do you see what I see? That's a little freebie. All right, let's go. I don't know why I got so excited about that one in particular. I just, I just like freebies, man. What can I say? Let's see if we can get some, some hardwood for the road. We've never had a run where we got hardwood and we didn't get to keep the hardwood, so... Well, actually, that's not true, but... <laughs> but we only had, like, one run where that happened. Alright, floor 67, me? I see no freebies. And I see a gang of, of young dust sprites coming for my blood. Let's not let that happen. Top corner there. Ooh, top corner. Yo, this is actually turning out really well. <laughs> I mean, don't count your chickens before they've turned into void eggs, but... Same time, I'm feeling okay. 
I'm not I'm no longer feeling okay as it turns out. That's a that's a false prophet of a staircase and we just got to start mining now. Okay. They're so they're trying to flank me. These dust sprites are actually trying to flank me. I'm going over here where I can mine in peace. Welcome in Tyler. We are in the uh, later hours of the stream now, but I mean, I don't, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm probably not ending the stream until I get to floor 70. I'll tell you that right now, regardless of how long that might take. So be prepared. Speaking of which, there's our second reset right there incoming. Eventually. All right, get this guy away from me. Can dust sprites break crystals? Doubt it. Well, he's not strong enough to break that crystal. He would never. There's no chance he breaks that crystal. Not in a million years. Especially not before I find this staircase. Alright, 67-2. Perfect. Used to want to be a writer and wrote a bunch of short stories back in the day. Now I mostly write poetry. And it's usually angsty to process emotion. That's all, that's a great way to get an emotion, though. I don't tend to write poetry. I do I do journal from time to time if I need to get out some emotion or need to just like get thoughts out of my head. But I think if you're uh, if you're the right kind of person, then writing things down to get the emotions out is is a great way to go about it for sure. You don't even have to be a great writer. Is the thing about that? You just literally you write what you what you feel. That's all you have to do. Anyone can do that. Well, I shouldn't say anyone, but a lot, most people can can do that pretty seamlessly, I would say. Even if you haven't tried before. They can break diamonds. They can break diamond nodes. They can break the, the rock surrounding a diamond. Whether they can break the diamond itself remains to be seen. I've never seen a dust sprite break a diamond. Have you? You like proofreading other people work, people's work more than writing your own. I did my fair share of proofreading as well back when I was doing fan fiction and stuff. Probably my crowning achievement in my, in my time in my brief time in in a fan fiction community. Well, I wouldn't say brief. I was I wrote fan fiction for like a good few years at the very least. Um, but the thing that I always still remember the most is going into like a, a writing competition and there were like 64 other writers or I don't it might have been less than 64 it was it was a substantial amount of other writers and uh, it was like a tournament bracket style writing competition it's kind of complicated to explain but at the end of the day I got like third place out of all those writers I was very happy with that have a good one there Bex thanks for hanging out or wait, no, who's wait, who's leaving? Bree is headed out, not Vex. My bad. The B the B names got me confused. Have a good night there, Bree. Take care. Duh, Bree. Used to journal, but it may but it started making your brain loop worse. Uh, yeah, that can happen too, unfortunately. <laughs> you gotta find the right outlet for yourself. It's the hard part about, you know, mental health in general is that one thing that works for someone will not always work for another person. You gotta find your own, you gotta take your own journey. All right, floor 69, no freebies, please. I wanna, I wanna mine for information here. Confirmed, no freebies. All right, perfect. What the heck? Oh, I just pressed, I pressed like a wrong key and it made like a scary Windows error sound. like fanfic because there's a lot of fics out there that are just real and it's nice to read that sometimes that's true yeah you get such a such a wide array of possible fanfics out there you get some that are nice cozy slice of life and you get some that are uh not that but <laughs> but there's something out there for everybody for sure no matter your mood no matter your lifestyle no matter what you're what you're interested in there's a fanfic for you. Call me the Saul Goodman of fanfics. Ooh, 
Ooh, ladder. That was a nice quick one. Nice quick ladder. I always appreciate that, because sometimes we can be stuck mining here for, like, literally, like, five minutes without getting a ladder. Which doesn't sound like that much in isolation, but spread it across however many resets, it definitely adds up. Alright. That's reset two, right? Is that reset? Is that two resets? Currently, four to six resets is still the most popular option at 37% of voters. 37% of chat believes it'll take at least four and at most six resets. I still have faith. I still have faith. We're only two resets deep. It's not that bad. It's not that serious yet. Yeah, I think that could be a lot of fun, Lisa. That would be a great creative outlet for a lot of people, probably. I would I would absolutely co-sign that. Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy is what got you interested in trying to write Western novels. Good book, but it's hard to get through on a first read. Tyler Watson, it's is serendipitous that you mentioned that because I I'm I just started watching a very long video. I started watching it yesterday, I should say, while I was working working on some other stuff. A very long video that Wendigoon just released, going over Blood Meridian, and I'm a little scared based on his just initial descriptions of it. <laughs> but I'm also intrigued because like he's he speaks very highly of it, and it is like a classic book from everything that I know about it. So, you know what? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do something crazy here. So crazy it just might work. I think we reset floor 65. Because there is a staircase immediately right of the elevator, just like that. So we just reset until we get that rock and we're good to go. That's a very, very nice ladder spawn right there, honestly. Starting leather working soon. Cat, that's so cool. That's a, that's a very cool hobby, profession, depending on, I guess, the context of it. All right. No freebies. Part of me wants to reset floor 66 for freebies now that I have, like, decently ready access with that one staircase, but we're not going to do that. Alright, floor 66. The comparison is way down here. This is a cursed staircase, though. It's not a great place to start. And we don't have any other knight's moves there anyway, so we're just going to just gonna have to mine here. Okay, we need more maps of floor 66 anyway. Having one in nice proximity to the ladder would be ideal. Thank you for hearing me. Sometimes the game does feel like it wants to bless me. Other times it feels like it's, you know, going to make me search through 5,000 garbage cans and 5,000 more. Just to find a piece of fruit that should be on the floor. I mean, you do pick them up from the floor. Stream's getting a little, little long, can you tell? Can you tell that I'm uh, I'm going a little loopy? Alright. There are a lot of rocks on this floor. I don't always love that. But it could be okay here. Knight's move? No knight's move. Okay, that's fine. I think we have a second map, don't we? We do. Also, no knight's move, though. Is there is there a false knight's move? No false knight's moves. I think that's the, those are the only two maps, though, right? Yeah, okay, so... Unfortunate. It'll be your job. You love making. That's so. That's very cool, cat. A leather working job. Leather workers rise up. They're giving me good staircase luck. Also, that song, even though it's like a sad song, I was kind of feeling the vibes when I was mining. I'm not gonna lie to you. Set 67-3. Feeling pretty all right. My blood's beginning to electrify. One of my favorite metaphors is, like, your blood feeling electric. It's such, it's such, like, an evocative phrase. I love it. 
All right. I don't think I see a freebie in this octopus of a floor. That is... There's no information to be gleaned there, I don't think. What about that one? That one looks like a little more potential, maybe. I lied. I spoke too soon. I think we just gotta start mining. It's the way it's, the way it's been, and it's the way it's gonna continue to be, as it turns out. Chat, he just wrote down something it took you hours to figure out in three seconds. Chat, chat GPT works on a different level sometimes. I mean, given how it gets its information by, like, scraping data or whatever, it's it's got the sum knowledge of of a lot of different people in it, so you got you can't be too surprised when that sort of stuff happens, but it is, it is a little demoralizing, I suppose. I feel that. But I think ChatGPT could be a very good tool for, for that sort of stuff, for, like, inspiration or for, for whatever, whatever it might have. What the heck? I didn't even get... That was... The, was that a dust sprite? Because I didn't get any ore from that rock, man. I've been baited. I've been had. I feel like a... Like a schmuck. It's not a word I use lightly. Anyone else feel like a schmuck right now, or just me? Dang old dust sprite. Got me feeling a certain kind of... Certain kind of mean. There, there's the dust. That's the offender right there. Look at him. Do you see the guilty look on this man's face, on this dust sprite's face, or do you think it? Or do you think he framed? He was framed by this guy here. Chat. We got a mystery to solve. Which of these dust sprites broke that rock? Po po post your answers in chat now. Post your left. Left. Are you a left dust sprite apologist or a right dust sprite defender? I don't know what those words mean in this context, but. You decide. <laughs> was it was it the left boy or the le or, or the right boy? Did I take a screenshot here yet? I did not. Okay. Sixty-eight three. Left did it. Framed. Lefty. You guys think left did it? I don't know. Something something fe something about right feels more. Guilty to me. Like, this guy's like, he looks like he's like fleeing from something. Like, he's a little bit squished. He's compressed on the x axis. But he's, I think he's just like, he's vibing. I think it's a bad look. I think he was caught at a bad time. Like, wrong place at the wrong time, kind of thing. Your heart says left. I feel like it's right, dude. Right looks too innocent to be. Like, like left. There's something obviously, like, left is, like, in motion. He's caught in motion right there. But right is, like... I don't know, he looks too innocent to me. Gonna post the summary chat GPT gave you. Be careful of spam there, Benny, because it could be... <laughs> could be construed as spam. Because I know chat GPT writes long things, so... So maybe, maybe don't, but... <laughs> just, just a forewarning. Anyway. 469 me. Post in the Discord. That's probably more more apropos, yeah. Especially because YouTube chat has like character limits anyway. And I know chat GPT's writing something longer than 200 characters. Nice indeed. Feel, ooh, I was feeling. I was about to say, I'm feeling the music. I'm feeling good vibes coming from the music. And as it turned out, it was not the only thing giving off good vibes. That staircase came nice and clean and quick. All right, 69-3. This is three resets, right? Is this is this the third reset? I think this is our last chance for one to three reset believers. That's where you gotta specify, like, in a hundred words or less. I guess you can do that with ChatGPT. Because if you don't, like, I've, I've, I've tried ChatGPT on a few occasions, and I, I don't specify anything like that. And literally every time, depend even in, like, the most simple of questions, 
it'll like give me the history of like what I'm trying to ask and like various different interpretations of it. It'll be it'll write like five paragraphs minimum for any question you try to answer or you want to ask. Be like, what should I have for what should I have for dinner tonight, Chat GPT? And then it'll be like, well, that depends. Are you gluten intolerant? Are you vegan? Or are you uh, pescatarian? Because there are many possible options, and depending on the location that you live in, some food could be a little bit easier to acquire than others. You also have to take into account how you're feeling that day. Like, you may not be feeling especially on top of your game, and that could be a sign of an iron deficiency, which means that you should consume more meat or meat substitutes, or maybe take some iron supplements. Have you spoken to your doctor about wanting to... And about wanting to get more energy in your daily life, because if you're consider if you're asking me for what kind what what you should have for dinner, then I feel like you're somewhat indecisive in life, and possibly that you really need to like get your stuff sorted out. So, and suddenly ChatGPT just becomes a condescending back arm armchair doctor. I don't know how I evolved into that. PJR, by the way, PJR. Possessed by the ghost of AI's present. All right, no, no freebies on this floor, but all right, we make do. PJR for good luck. Will will the luck be good enough? It's a cur we got a one cursed staircase, and there's a knight's move away from the cursed staircase. Okay, so at the very end of the tunnel, in the middle of all things good. What about the other one here? It's right close, right nearby. Do, 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 Ooh, okay, maybe right there in the nook in the southern, southern of the entrance cave. Is that the, are those the only two we have? Those, those are the only two we have, confirmed. All right, we're looking. We're going to start right here. Okay. I didn't have a great feeling about that one. The farther removed it is from a staircase that we've seen previously, the worse the odds are. Cause that's because the patterns are not that long a lot of the time. Alright, we're looking for this middle stone right here. The Thomas Middle Stone. Sounds like someone's last name. Did not bear fruit this time, so that's okay. We just we start mining again. Never here early enough to catch the streams. Glad it could be here for this one. Welcome in, Bailey. Happy to have you in. We're, we're near the tail end of the stream, or so it would seem. So it should so it should be that we're at the tail end of the stream. But who knows how long it's going to take to get to floor 70 proper. Might be this run. Might be this run after all things are said and done. Alright, floor 66. This is 66-3. All right, we got three maps for floor 67. Hopefully that that bodes well. We don't even need a dang map. Oh man, there's nothing like it's it's one thing when you get a freebie in the screenshot. It's another thing when you just see a freebie sight on scene when you actually enter the floor. That's an unparalleled feeling of pure pure dopamine. You know someone with the last name Stone? I feel like it's got to be a relatively common last name to be honest. Just like a standard object. I feel like the most sort of like the most common category of last names though are probably like colors. Like, you know, John Green or like Betty White. That sort of stuff. Alright, what do we got here? I see no freebies, unless I'm mistaken, but I don't think I am. Alright, what do we got next? Way down there. Not looking particularly... Oh, wait, hold on. One, one, two... Wait, is that one? One, two... Is that three or is that four? One, two... I want to say that's four. Wait, one, two, three... That Because that's three right there. Yeah, that's that's four over, right? That's four over. Okay, so that's, that's not a false knight, I don't think. It's not a false knight. It might be a false knight. We'll we'll try it. We'll try it out if if push comes to shove. False knight potential near the near the coal bag. 
but hopefully we just don't need that. That's a terrible spot. All right, 68 dash three. Mm, hate that too. <laughs> I think that's the last uh, map we got as well. All right, well, we just got to go try for a false knight. A little false knighthood. It's paid off in the past. I don't know. I, I don't think it's on the same pattern, though. I couldn't quite tell. My tile counting abilities are starting to fray a little bit in the 11th hour of the stream. Or, at, well, I guess the, the third hour of the stream. Fourth hour of the stream? Maybe, though. Oh, I'm glad I checked. I'm glad I checked. My senses did not betray me this time. Okay. I had a gut feeling, and you know what? False knighthood tech is actually paying off way better than I ever thought it would. False knighthood, one up, three to the right. We're on floor 69, experience free. You can get some nices in chat. All right, no freebies. Never have a free 69. I've always said that. Um, no freebies. Do we have we do we have that one there? I don't think there's any intel on that one, unfortunately. What about this one? Also, no, no false. Wait, is there a false one, one, two, three? No, that that one's definitely too far away. I don't get the same gut feeling. Right close to the staircase here, potentially. No shot. No shot. All right, we just got it. We have had them kitty corner before like that, though, so maybe maybe there. I don't know. Not many rocks on this floor, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, the rock population is sparse, which means that hopefully there's a high... I mean, there's a higher likelihood than average for a rock to contain a staircase, if you look at it that way. So we hope for the best. A jade for me? A lucky jade for the road? I'll take it. Feeling good about this leftmost path, honestly. Just a single staircase, a morsel of a staircase, and we're there. We need this is this one this one we're still on three resets as well, so this could go well. Come on. I know you want to give it to me. I know you do. Watch out! Watch out! No! Keep them away. Hold on. I, I've, I've got to do damage control here. Damage control? Stay, stay away from that iron ore. I need to keep the dust sprites away from that iron. I need to get them away. I didn't even realize. Holy. I, this, is, this is cursed. This is a cursed moment. All right, get the dust sprites, get them away. I need, I need to lure you both away. Get, get on top of me, please. Please follow. Please follow suit. Please follow in an orderly line. You were so gung ho about following me all the way down here. Now you're like, nah, I'm gonna chill next to this rock. He's going for it, dude. He's going for it. I can see it in his dusty little eyes. Get out of here. Get away from it. There's a third one now. Where'd you come from? All right, I think, I think we're safe. I think we're safe if I just follow up here and don't lead them down that path. I have to hope. I have to hope that that's okay. Not me yelling, eat out loud in the house of sleeping people. <laughs> it's okay, I heard it. I heard you though, Bex. I heard you though, so it was not in vain. Please. I think I've avoided a catastrophe with that iron ore. Let it not be without purpose, you know. It's okay, my tundra boots will protect me. My tundra boots. I also want this, whatever it is. It's nothing. Sometimes nothing is the greatest prize of all, though. You don't think about it too hard? Mom, come pick me up, I'm scared. Go 
Yo, I just noticed these bats have, like, very cute little noses. Anyone ever notice that these bats have, like, little pink noses? That's very cute. They just got little, little schnozzes. I focus on the bat nose. Maybe that'll see me through here. Oh my gosh, this these slimes, dude. <laughs> the slimes, why why would you, you why would you do that? How could you do that to a person? The last staircase? Are you kidding me? They gave me a freaking gold ore on floor 69 at <laughs> with the staircase at the same time. It's so cursed. I hate it. I hate it here. Ah! 69-4. It's already marked as cursed by the presence of a, a stupid gold ore on it. No! Just swallow it? Swallow the experience? I can't do that to this sad- to this sad song. How much mining experience is that? Five mining experience? Chad, are we gonna reset for five mining experience? Just kidding, I already did. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. We're going back to floor 69, baby. I haven't come this far and reset this much just to just to let the five experience win. Welcome on in, Lissy. We are still in the process of hunting for dwarf scrolls. The crazy thing is, chat, is that this would, st regardless of my plan for Dwarf Scroll 3, this would still be required for Dwarf Scroll 4. Like, there's still nothing has changed about that. We're gonna have to, I mean, it's gonna really put me to the test, put my patience to the test once we start having to go through the, the 80 floors, like 80 and beyond. Because at that point, every single rock is gonna take like five or six hits or something crazy like that, so... Uh... Anyway, I'm going to drink this triple shot for good luck. It worked last time. We're in four reset mode now. Four reset mode. Staircase in the next ten rocks, I'm calling it. I think you're 100% right, because I'm going to reset floor 65 until I get the one rock that I know is a staircase. <laughs> We're not messing around here anymore. The repetition is actually kind of soothing. I, I wholeheartedly agree with that, honestly. That's why this grind has not uh, has not broken me yet. Moments like that, though, like when you get your last staircase but also get experience at the exact same time, those things can uh, can wear you down a little, just a little bit, just a tad. All right, no freebie. That's fine. We don't build our our hopes and dreams on freebies. That is a cursed staircase, so we can't take that one. What about this one, though? Is there a knight's move there? Do, 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 do. Nope, okay. That's fine. What about there? Do, do, do. Do, do. No, I don't. Wait, maybe. Hold on a second. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do 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 maybe right right up there by the by the light post. That's that's our only shot really. So we'll take a crack at it. With the triple shot triple shot espresso pounding through my veins. Kathunk kathunk kathunk. I'm gonna break this rock because I know it won't give me experience for one hundred percent certainty. Hey, there you go. You'll have to see that. They're already breaking rocks. These dust sprites have no chill. Which is, you know, ironic considering that we're in the ice caves. Got them. Alright, 67. We got a freebie. We got a freebie. It's the most beautiful thing I ever see. B? Freebie left of the crack. Left of the crack. Okay. Run me down there. That's too many dust sprites. Are you kidding me? Holy. Alright. Floor 68. We're within a, a stone's throw of floor 69 again. 
No freebies, unfortunately. That's fine. Dust sprites galore. Did we realize it would be this bad when we first got this goal? When I first saw, you know, Befriend the Dwarf was our goal, I really did not think it would be this convoluted. But I kind of love it. That's a false knight right there, and we know that that one's actually a good false knighthood. I think we should go for that. If I can, can I get down there? We got a bit of a maze to navigate to get to actually get there. Maybe there's one closer. If not, if if we have to go down for that one, we can. But I'd rather not have to. What about? There's one that's like close, right? There's not. Okay, this is the closest one we got. And there's there's false knighthood right there. I don't trust it though. This this one I trust because I know this one's a stranger to me. What about this one here? Not really any information there either. So I think we just want to go for this one honestly. Right down there near the coal bag. I think I think that's our best bet. We just have to hope that none of the rocks in between us are actually detrimental, which they hopefully, I mean, I, in a perfect world. Okay. I mean, the odds are in our favor, I think. I think those might be the only two rocks that we actually had to break. I think we're good now. And this one should be a staircase. Perfect. All right, you'll love to see that. Floor 69, back-to-back -back attempts. Let's make it happen. Please. I already have a, a file named 69.png. That doesn't bode well. It's from it's from the previous runs, chat. It's from the previous runs. It's not anything untoward. It's not what you're thinking. Keep it PG-13. How many layouts are there per floor? I mean, the, the floor layout is the same every time. Like, floor 69 is always the same shape, the same shape here, but it's not... Uh, but the staircases can vary, just vary depending on the seed. Alright. Floor 69-1. Nope. No false knighthoods either. Okay. Yeah, in the regular mines, I should say. In Skull Cavern, the floor layout is not determined by the... By the number of the floor. Dude, dude. There's a, there is a false knighthood right here. That there's a good chance there. I mean, false false knighthoods, false knight, false knight moves have been uh, proving pretty fruitful. So north of the cyan spire, north of the cyan spire, it's not really cyan, but just go with it. One right there as well. Nothing even remotely close. And then this is the cursed one. The most cursed one? It's there again. I don't believe it. It's there. It's there again. And it's it's surrounded by dust sprites. They better not do any, like, shenanigans. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so mean. All right, we're going to go for this one and just hope for the best. Hopefully, I mean, we know there's a staircase in there is the sad thing, which might mean that, like, none of the other rocks have a staircase. <laughs> but I don't know if that's exactly how that works, so... Well, we don't know for a fact that that rock is a staircase. It might not be. Either way, we're going to find out here in a second if the false knighthood just comes through in the clutch. You hate to see it. All right. And and away we go. I got to be careful. I don't want to go down that way. I don't want to trigger the dust sprites. Let's stay well away. I hear them. I hear them doing their little dust sprite song. What the heck? It's just there. I wasn't ready for it. Yo, time. Call that time. Four resets. Four resets. Floor 70 has been achieved. I could tell. I could tell chat's getting tired. This is a long stream and it's a late stream. So I, I apologize for that. But there we go. We can end it on a high note. Floor 69. Sorry, floor 70. Zero mining experience. Zero combat experience. Give me this... What is it? 
It's the master slingshot. I didn't. I don't even need the regular slingshot. We just skip straight to the master one. I'm out of here, dude. Holy. All right, floor 70. Ten more floors until. Uh, well, we don't. We don't have to think about that. Ten more floors until you know greatness. We'll think of it that way. Believers lost. What are you talking about? There's always, no matter the outcome, there's always believers that win. It's just not the believers that we, <laughs> we hoped they would be. Put the slingshot in the fridge. You read my mind. Master slingshot has arrived. Fire stones for ammo. Do you think if I kill things with a slingshot that it'll still give me combat experience? I've never tested it, but I can pro I can tell you the answer is almost certainly 100% yes. Dude, the triple shot, again, I, this is the run where I drank the triple shot and we actually got through. Maybe there really is something to the lucky triple shot. I forgot what I voted for. I wish there was like a little, you know, like a symbol next to your name based on like what you voted for in the poll. Just like a little like number one, two, three, or four or whatever, depending on how many options are in the poll. I think that'd be a nice little quality of life for for YouTube streams, that could be fun. All right. Got a little green algae, got a little bread for the road and a master slingshot for our troubles. I am okay to call that a day. And also, we got the luau tomorrow. Chat, what are we bringing to the luau? What are we going to bring to the luau? It's a trick question. We don't bring anything to the luau. Because we're not, we don't feel like we're part of this community yet. So we, we're too shy to bring something to the luau. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sell the quartz, the frozen tier in that bread for my little payday. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Pants? <laughs> I don't think you get friendship points or anything for doing the pants thing, but we also don't have access to it, so... Bring a common mushroom. I feel like that would get me friendship points. Maybe it wouldn't, though. I don't know. Either way, we're off to bed. You right? Right. Yeah, we're good. You get nothing. Good day, sir. Trash. <laughs> Just throw a whole big trash bag into the soup and walk away. <laughs> Ultimate Giga Chad mood, honestly. All right. Joja Cola? Why do I feel like that would be good in a soup? Bring a smile? I like your attitude, Zeta. Alright. That's gonna be it for this stream, though. We made it ten floors deeper in the mines. It might not sound like a lot. It might not be a lot, but to us, that's like everything. That's a that's a lot of work to get ten floors deeper in the mines. Wait, didn't we? We got fifteen floors deeper, right? Because we did, we did get to floor 60 as well today. We started at floor 55. We got 15 floors deep. That was a big one. And we got some extra hardwood. I mean, the grinds press on ever more. I look forward to continuing it with you next time in Randomized Perfection. I will see you hopefully on Thursday. Thursday, it'll be an earlier, stream, earlier in the day stream once again. And uh, yeah. Best of, uh, have a good, have a good few days in between then. I hope to see you then. Thank you all for joining me for this leg of the journey. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. I will send you off with the usual fan art compilation. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a great night. Bye-bye.